All right, I think we're good. Everyone needs to let me know if the uh, the audio levels are okay because we're using these lavalier mics here. Oh, we need to turn down the volume on here. Oh, oh, I had to I had to mute mine. Can you um, just find it and, and mute the stream? Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. You gotta let me know if everything sounds good. So something something about the lighting on Chris's shot where it's like kind of cool in the front and then there's this like w warm glow behind him. It, it just looks really cozy. <laughs> I am well, cozy. He's also using the GH6. So. Oh, okay. So you, you, you think it's like the uh, the real <laughs> like the real deal. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the 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 highest quality shot on display here for sure. Okay, so people are saying that I'm quiet. Or it, wait, am I quiet? Because I, I can turn I can turn up my volume or, if I need to. Or or they they uh, are 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 they both equally quiet? Yeah. Oh, apparently they I, didn't have sound. Huh? I mean, but they it sounds like they do now, but at some point they didn't. Okay. Oh. oh, I wonder if that has anything to do with the old uh, noise suppression. Let me turn that mm. off. You're just like playing with new gadgets. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I was new things for this. I was very, very nervous about using these mics Corey has y'all using. When I used them for the first time, like I had like triple or maybe quadruple yeah. audio redundancy with what I was recording because I was just like so paranoid of them not working right. <laughs> <laughs> but it turned out okay, right? It did. Oh, it turned out great, but I, I was not ready to trust them because it was kind of a kind of a critical recording okay sound check sound check yeah things should be good now i good. turned off the uh the nvidia sound re noise Enunciate. removal so we should be good let me know happy new years to everybody kinda... yeah oh, yeah over here uh so it's gonna be the wrong way we're joined by by my friend chris chris and i have been friends God, we went to we went all the way through school together, but like we I don't know, like ninth grade. Well, I mean, you we, had we, you yeah. had you had my you had my mom as as a third grade teacher. Yes. <laughs> so I guess outside of outside of my brother, I've known Chris longer than anybody else has ever been on the yeah. stream by by a significant yeah. margin. I think I think ninth something like eighth ninth grade was like when we officially started like like hanging out. Yeah. Somewhere Came, around there. We worked RPG at EB together, buddies. Yeah. Yeah, that was like, it was, uh, I think that was like part of like our group of friends. Like, like you guys were like, there was like a group over by your house, like of our friends. Like you were like more the, the Genesis, yes. like, like, like people. And like Tim and I were like more the Nintendo people. Yeah. And then like we eventually like <laughs> merged. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna, Chris, Chris is, here in Cincinnati because we are going to the uh, the Bills uh, Bengals uh, football game tomorrow. Go Bills! <laughs> and you know we've been we've been planning this for a long time. It's kind of it's kind of crazy that it's the time is actually here. Yeah, but, like yeah. we got those tickets. I want to say like, like, like summer. It was like summer. Whenever the tickets first went on sale. So yeah, I don't know. We didn't expect it to be such a a big game, too. So it's kind of a big deal. Oh, is it, is it pretty high stakes? Oh, it's a very high stakes game. It's going to yeah. be. Uh, I mean, at this time of year, I guess it would be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, we, we saw some people asking earlier, like, why we're playing this version of the game. And uh, so Chris doesn't. Chris used to play a lot of games. He doesn't really play much anymore. And I'm high maintenance. And, he's, and he, he just wanted to play something. <laughs> you know, he wanted to play something like. Whoa. But I mean, even beyond that, I mean, we, I mean, for streams and stuff, we play collections like this all the time. I mean, it's, yeah. it's not like we are, it's not like we are original hardware snobs or anything. Right. I, I also asked Corey to like, I, I wanted to play something that was like, kind of something like, you know, we played a long time ago. And, and, and I remember a, a lot of times like in our mall, like when we go see like movies or something like that, there would be the, the arcade machine was like right out fr in front of the, <clears throat> the, the movie theater. So like to, to waste time before the movie started, we'd always end up playing this. I think oh, uh, yeah. this or Street Fighter 2 or yeah, yeah. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. yeah. 
So I mean, this this is probably the back in the day arcade game that I played the most, which yeah. was, to be honest, not a whole lot. Like I wasn't a big arcade kid, um, but but yeah, I mean, this this was this was the one for sure. <laughs> okay, just to confirm, like all like the audio sounds good. Everybody. Yeah, I haven't heard any complaint in a long time, so Excellent. I think I think it's good. There was, uh, by the way, there was a five dollars super chat from Luca. Oh, yeah. He's saying yeah, Happy from... New Year. The end of Damn. the end of year video was great. Let's go Buffalo. <laughs> Let's go Buffalo. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so uh, hit hit your button. See if it, if it lets you jump in. There you go. Let me All right, I'm gonna be who I always played. Now, you always played Donatello too, didn't yeah. you? Oh, did you? No, because Tim Tim was Leonardo. Okay. Well, I was Raphael, and you were... I don't think anybody played Michelangelo. <laughs> uh, Steve-O the Hulk uh, wanted to know if we have tried the Dreamcast version of Calabunga Collector. I assume... I, I did see something about that, but I never looked into it. I assume it's just like a, a fan version with some dreamcast emulators or 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 what is it exactly do you know i have no idea I, i'd heard something about it i i saw i saw a headline somewhere but i never clicked on it i was just like oh that sounds cool uh so just hit start i mean that's something i could see mike micah doing himself if he wanted to <laughs> <laughs> but i don't i I'm, I'm assuming it was not done with the involvement of of uh digital eclipse you, you, oh, that's weird. Cowabunga. <laughs> all right, let's get the... All right. All right. Early bets, Corey. How far are we actually getting before we uh Oh, I mean, we get unlimited, <laughs> unlimited, unlimited lives. You just hit start to uh, insert more credits. So we can we can beat the game. Oh, easily. well. <laughs> and it also has a rewind. We're, we're, we're not playing by hard rules today. Oh, I thought oh, we were just no. playing by, like, quarters. Like... We, we are just... We're just hanging out. Like, okay. it is... We're just gonna play through it, oh, and we'll play something else. Did you ever, did you ever play the Turtles in Time arcade game? Uh, Super Nintendo. Well, the arcade game is is. I remember different. the Super Nintendo, right? Yeah, we can we can play the Super Nintendo version. Also. Most people seem to like. Whenever I see it brought up, people say like, "Oh, well, I like the Super Nintendo one better anyway." Yeah, and they than just the add, arcade one. I, I've never played. They just added online like the, for that. The real arcade machine of that. I, I didn't even know it was an arcade yeah, machine I didn't know for a long time. I remember the Super Nintendo one. I don't remember an arcade one. It's, it's I, I, re I really need Super to replay Nintendo it because I've, I've only played through it one time and, and like I thought it was okay, but I always liked this one more. And when I say this one, I actually am a weirdo and prefer the NES one. Probably just because I played it more than the arcade one. So I have your NES. Or of, of two. The the arcade game is it was yours. Oh, was it mine? Yeah. No. Um, I think I ended up supplying you with a bunch of stuff when. <laughs> oh yeah. When when the, when the this channel first started. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of that stuff was just like in the basement. At yeah, your, you, at your you went house. right in my mom's house. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, that's yeah. right. The tiny, the tiny sprites. So I, that's what I kind of liked about the NES version because I felt like, in some ways, you could see more because the sprites were smaller. <laughs> oh, we got uh, a five dollars super chat from Dad eleven fifty three. Thank oh, you. Shell shock. Yes, Saying, uh, "Gave stepmom a seventy five inch Vizio as a retirement gift. Relatives <laughs> pitched in and hung it. Die Hard four K looks good in seventy five <laughs> inches." No, no shame. No gaming will happen on it. <laughs> you know, I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if it's still true, but it, at one point, you know, Vizio's had really low lag. <laughs> Who knows now? Oh, Shredder. So did you know that the voice of Shredder in the cartoon was was, was, was Uncle Phil? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, like one of those random, uh, I, I guess it would be like, what, pub trivia almost to yeah. a certain point? You know, I don't know why they had to, like, they couldn't use the original version of the, the theme song that's in this and they had to re-record it. Really? But if anybody, yeah, I mean, they, they use it, they, they re-recorded it. It's like the same song, but they can't use the original version. 
And I don't know if anybody else agrees with me. I said this in the year-end video that I feel like the like for that new version that's in this version, it sounds like it's like Mark Hoppus from Blink-182 singing it. <laughs> and it really does. I mean, I don't know if anybody... You did message me one night about that. Yeah, I was it's like, it's... it kind of does. Like, I, it, it doesn't, but it does seem very similar. I can see where that was. Yeah. I, 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 that was, yeah. I'm curious if anybody else who's played this, now that they, they if they're familiar with Blink-182, if they, if they feel the same way, or if they agree with me. <laughs> uh, there was... Five dollars from Jonathan Henson. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, saying uh, Happy New Year, fellas. Thanks for all that you did in 22. My 23 unachievable gaming goals are Fancy Star one and four, Lunar one and two, <laughs> Battle Mania one and two, <laughs> Castlevania Rondo of Blood and Symphony of the Night. Gate of Thunder and Super Metroid. A, a lot of a lot Listen, of pairs you, you there, except for that. Gate of Thunder oh, and yeah. Super Metroid. Gate of yeah, Thunder no, is, uh, a, is a really pretty easy shooter. It's it's a gr really good like beginner shooter. I gotta say. I like Gate that. of Thunder. Yeah, I mean you don't have that. You, I, I tried to get you to, to buy it many times, but you've never ended up actually buying it, right? <sighs> no, I I I, I did. it's a CD game, right? It's only CD. Right? No, no cue card version. Right. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, I, I think I think I came close one time, but, you know, I think it was like a convention and I only had so much cash. I, I, I try to stick to my cash only rule at conventions to, you know, reel it in a bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Corey, you said you're you're playing through Lunar again, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I started playing Lunar because of, uh, A, we want to do a video on it, but I just recorded a podcast about it. Uh, and I was playing my exact same copy of Lunar on the exact same console as I did exactly 29 years ago. But do you find yourself, like, do you find yourself, like, now going through the game again, like, you can go through it, like, way quicker? Like, so, like, you know, you played it through it a few times. I'm, well, I find myself lockdown, kind of you know, exploring a little bit more oh. to see if there's like things that I didn't pick up or that that I understand better now that I'm older. Um, well, I didn't know, especially since that, I mean, just I, I guess that last, like that last question, it's kind of like a lot of role-playing games. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to dedicate myself to many hours kind of going through this. But then in reality, it's like, oh, I wonder if I, you know, if I, you know, played some of these old games I've played a few times before. It's like, would I just really with muscle memory come back to you and, and kind of like be able to like really rock through them and not take as the same amount of time. You really can kind of like shave some hours off of it. It's well, see, I, I, I remember Corey talking about how long it took him to originally beat stuff like Final Fantasy four and six and seven and stuff. And, and the times that he had on those were way shorter than my first times through them. Uh, well, I, I so think I'll, that my, my Final Fantasy seven was like 70 hours. <laughs> okay, well that's but, that that's, was, but that's a complete, basically a complete. I mean, that would be a more normal uh, first time playthrough of seven, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Cause I think mine was 60 to 65, probably the first time. Yeah. Uh, but you know, but, Lunar is, that original Sega CD game is like roughly around 20 hours. It's, it is a yeah, very, and I, and very I assume the PlayStation version is not a lot different. It's, it's about 10 hours longer, I'd say. Okay. But still, that's not, like, crazy for an RPG. Right. Um, oh, no, no, so that's, like, I, that is ideal for an RPG. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm you know, that that's... But, yeah, I, I, I put them both on my list for for, for uh, 2023. And, uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I was I'm hoping sure. that that idea, like, in the video, like, that that would be a popular idea. Because I, there's been a lot of comments saying like, "Oh, I'm gonna use that idea myself." Yeah, a lot of talk in the Discord too. Yeah. I mean, there, there's, been, I, I, I've been hanging out in like the the Game Dave Discord uh, a bit uh, the past day as well, and there's people in there. It's like, oh, like here, here's gonna be my list of ten. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's that. That's that's catching on. Yeah. Wasn't even our idea. <laughs> no, no. Somebody remind me who this is. Is this Baxter Stockman? It is. Yeah. yeah. Before he was a fly. Later, before, later. Before he was Tyler Perry. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Later, there's a, a fight with uh, with him in fly form, though. Oh, in the second one, he's not in the he's not a fly form Wait. in this one. I, are you sure? Because he definitely has a fly form in the NES game. Yeah, that, that would have been thought, added. He's, I, it's, it's in uh, Turtles of Time. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I, I'm pretty there's, there's positive no... the NES version has a fly form fight with him later. Not, not. Oh, th maybe in the NES game, but definitely not in the arcade game. There. <laughs> Is this gonna be Year of the Turtles? I don't know. Last year was Year of the Turtles. Uh, Ron Zombie, the uh, the the Discord is part of uh, Patreon and YouTube members. Um, there was a twenty three, I guess for twenty twenty three dollar <laughs> super chat. Wow, thank you from a Andy sixty four. Thank you. Yeah, very cool. Saying uh, cheers to twenty twenty three. Loved the games we played in 2022 video. My personal favorite was Shredder, Shredder's Revenge and Drubbins, of course, <laughs> with the pitch shifted voice. I, I can't I can't do it because I, I how long did you spend dialing in the modulation on that? <laughs> Not very long. Because <laughs> it's so perfect. <laughs> I, and, you know, I, I like that it's slow. Like each time it says it, like it gets closer to his face. <laughs> and you say it a little slower each time, too. Yeah, I put different effects on it, like, every time. Like, a slightly, uh, like, different effect. I'm uh, just like... You ate my pizza. Well, I like the, um, you know, like, people on our Discord, like, made a custom, like, emote for it. Yeah, it was it was a big hit. Someone even changed their name to XXX Chubbins XXX. <laughs> I, I love the idea of that being like, you know, the the new like XXX Sephiroth, you know, the the new like generic edge lord yeah. screen name. And like like Chubbins, maybe the I has to be a one. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. I like you know, and the re reception to those year end videos always makes. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, always makes the uh, the crunch time that we go through to make to make them on time to, to release on uh, New Year's Eve worth it because everyone like there's each year there's more and more people saying I look forward to this every year like, like there are people who would be actively disappointed on New Year's Eve yeah if we didn't have that video out like it's kind of, like it's kind of crazy it's, it's certainly they, they certainly aren't like among our, our highest performing videos, although they do averagely, but like the number of people who like say that that is like their favorite thing that we do is like, is really motivating. I, I, I feel that, I mean, as, as difficult as it is to get it done on New Year's Eve, by New Year's Eve every year, especially with holidays and everything, it's, it's really tough. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, I, I feel like it's it's like such a sacred promise. Like we cannot not have that video release on New Year's Eve. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I've really contributed to that video this year, so <laughs> Oh, this is my favorite music track in the whole game though. Maybe you should pay attention and not get hit in the face. <laughs> oh, Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's always really fun seeing the reaction to it because, <laughs> you know, people look forward to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I, I would hate to disappoint people. And it, what's funny is <laughs> I, I don't think that we have any, like, we, we don't know how long they are. Like, like we, we have a hard time telling, like, how long they traditionally are because I think that... that Two years ago, it was really long. It was like an hour and a half. So we actively dialed it back last year to like not be as long. And then somehow this one was nearly like 30 minutes longer than <laughs> previous, like any previous year. Which is fine because it was such a slow year on like in re releasing videos. So it, it felt 
oh, better to do something a little bit longer. But but like on the on the last day of editing, I did the intro, my turtle segment, and my entire RPG segment. Like the last day, like on the thirtieth, I edited like some like sixteen or so minutes, <laughs> which was <laughs> ridiculous. Really ridiculous. Yeah, I got in a pretty good groove with it though this time is I what I I did is I just had all my voiceover and I put down just gameplay clips and then I just went back and filled in like little flourishes with b-roll and like shot all the b-roll like after the fact because I think that too many times I get preoccupied with uh, oh I'm gonna put a b-roll shot here and then I go and shoot the b-roll Instead, I'd rather just use the gameplay and then shoot, then use the, or get the B-roll, like, after the fact. Like, when I know exactly how much I need. Because I think that if I don't do it that way, I end up uh, just choosing, like, or just shooting too much B-roll. Uh, so we've got a $5 Super Chat from, from old Ben Brody. Thank you. Oh. Saying, uh, my favorite game based off a comic book series is Batman Arkham City. But I also did really love the Punisher on the original Xbox. What is yours? I, I mean, really if I picked like the Batman like Arkham series, and I had a lot of, I mean, I had a lot of fun playing through, what was it? What was it? God, I, there's I, Arkham Asylum. It was Arkham Asylum, it's Arkham City, and then. Arkham Origins. Yeah, Arkham like Knight. I haven't played I, I'm, I'm, Origins. I, I, I've over the years, I, I've, as I've been really, you know, you know, more casually into games and stuff like that. I just, I do play a lot more of the, uh, I guess, open world style, like exploring. Like hmm. I've just really gotten into those. So like, it's kind of like what I spend most of my, <clears throat> most of my time with. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that. I think they did a really, really, really good job. Um, I. Uh, and why is my mind blinking right now? Gotham, um, the new one that just oh, the, the, like, Gotham Knights. Yeah, I, I've out. been I've been trying to casually play that a little bit, but I haven't. It's like it's 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 fun, but it's just I feel like I I have to like focus and feel like I'm like it's, I don't want to say it's like a chore, but I feel like it's just like well, I think there's like, like a lot some of, of the mechanics are would, like it was little, definitely criticized as feeling like a big step down from Knight. Yeah. Uh, but it wasn't developed by the same team. Yeah, it wasn't Rocksteady, I don't think. Um, yeah, because they have, but... like, this night mechanic where it's, like, every it's like you have to go back to, like, the tower, and then it's the next day, and it's just, and things change, and it's really, like, you have to, like, do all the missions in, like, one shot. So it's, like, it kind of forces you to do all the side stuff. <laughs> um, Errol Monado is asking, would you consider Rogue Squadron technically based on a comic book series? What, what Was there a Rogue Squadron comic book? It, was it like a Marvel uh, comic series? Uh, I, but I mean, I would, I mean, Batman Arkham Asylum would definitely be up there for a comic book uh, based game for me. Um, <laughs> I still haven't, I still haven't really gotten into Spider-Man, but I'm going to give it uh, like the... Uh, like the the insomniac see i said again insomniac spider-man <laughs> oh, um man are you 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 should try to play that this year although it might be tough to do it did you play spider-man yeah it was I great love, right i, I love spider-man i was gonna say like the one that kind of comes to mind is like and i remember i had i had to borrow your genesis because i never had a genesis but like because i i rented um uh x-men Oh, see, because I, 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 I was always like, because I was always like, kind of like, I, I was that person that would, you know, would look in, like, in the magazine and see the ads and be like, oh, this looks really cool, and you can play as like everybody, and like it just looks like it looked great, but you know, <laughs> that's necessarily the best. Of games. Yeah, I, I, like I, but, but it, there was like a, a romanticizing of, of that, and I remember, uh, I remember, I, I borrowed your your Genesis, and I remember <laughs> renting that from or wherever. Um, Try this might be what you're thinking of right here. Is like this is not the. Is this the whole fight? Is this the boss fight? No. Jump and kick. I do think it's this level on the NES game though. I, I I'm 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 like positive that there's 
It's, I think it's I'm... General Trag, is like, or the rock guy, is the, is the end of this level. Because they, they reuse the bosses a lot. In this. I, I am quite sure there is a, a Fly Baxter fight. Um, in, in the I... NES, NES game, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, Sandy. Um, um, but, uh... Uh, but if, if Turtles would also count as a, as a comic book based game, Shredder's Revenge would be up there as well. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. There was also a, another uh, $2 from Dad1153. Uh, Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Says, uh, I vote Chubbins replaces donation notification. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll, I'll do some stuff with Chubbins. You know, so I was not aware of the fact that Chubbins uh, got, there's a, like a remake of it on the, on the Switch. There's actually three Chubbins. There's games. a series. There's, yeah. there's a, Ch listen guys, are you prepared for this? There's a Chubbins Zero. <laughs> <laughs> it's not called that, it's called Rotund. Rotund well, Zero yeah. and Rotund yeah, but they, they, Takeoff. They rebranded the series as Rotund so instead of Chubbins. They, yeah. And I wonder if... Because Chubbins seems like a name that might be copyrighted in something. You know what I mean? Oh, look, we got Chubbins, Chubbins with, a Z, with a Z. Chubbins. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh... Uh, but yeah, it's, it's Rotund Rebound. And then there's there's another one that, like, does it have, like, mini games or something? Because there's one that has, like, it looks like Chubbin's Kart. Yeah. It's like Super Nintendo Mario Kart style Chubbin's yeah. on the Switch. Which... But, it's, but it's $20. I feel like that's a little too rich to spend on something. <laughs> so I, I bought I bought Zero and Chubbin's, two. what is it, Electric like, Lift Blue. Off or something like that, or Take Off, which is, like, I think it's a remake. And it... It remakes it in a like it uses sprites instead of like like those cheap three D graphics that the uh, the Wii U version game uh, used game used. It, Ch Chubbin's kind of he also like at least on the the cover art like he's not as round. He's yeah. like he, he looks like 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 American Chubbins. Yeah, and I, I have to say that the sprites look pretty instead nice of, in that, of, in that, in that new like game. American Kirby. <laughs> American Chubbins. Yeah. And, and well, there's this whole joke where, uh, like, on the Kirby box arts, like, like Kirby always has, like, oval eyes on Japanese box arts and looks happy and cute, but on American box arts, he's usually got, like, like the angry eyes. Like, he's got his, like... Oh, he, he like, like, a, like, like, like Kirby, Kirby has to be, like, angry and serious. Yeah, like a pearl to America. type. So they, they so people call call him American Kirby. Yeah. Like th this looks like a little more serious of a Chubbins. <laughs> like he went to Golden Corral and they were out of mac and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He's like a little upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It l looked like he was. Well, I don't know. He probably wasn't. He probably wasn't throwing the spiked ball he was probably dodging the spiked ball but the box art <laughs> made, made it look like he was like throwing a spiked ball probably because there was no mac and cheese um there was also a 15 dollars super chat from hey, eb yeah. chill 2 or eric benoit thank you saying uh happy new year everybody great video yesterday i did the same thing with my backlog as you did and really helped me this year Went from 15 games to 37 games. Thanks so much. Wait. Wait does, it, does that mean you beat 15 games in the previous year and 37 games in, this past year? Or or, or you your, your backlog grew, you're saying? I wish my backlog was 15 to 37 games. <laughs> it's sadly, it was that at one point. Sadly, not anymore. There was also, with no comment, a 199 super chat from Derek Foster. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, also, uh, th this uh, this 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 triple X Chubbins triple X. <laughs> with a 199 stand. I'm in this piece. Happy gaming, Jim. Like, we got, we got to keep this clean. It can't be triple X Chubbins. <laughs> yeah. Gotta, this is a this is a family show. 
<laughs> Chubbins with a Z. I, with so a Z. Chubbins said, I'm in this piece? Yes. <laughs> like, like, could you just see, like, the, the, the Chubbins title screen with him on there? There's just, like, a word bubble, like, coming out next to him. He just says, uh, I'm, I'm in this piece. Oh, like, I got him. He's just, I'm just going to. He blows up. There, he has, he has larger no... explosions than the bombs that they threw on the stage before. He's... <laughs> He's... Okay, Fusion Blaster said that the fly former Baxter Stockman replaces the double fight with Bebop and Rocksteady on the NES. Oh, which okay. makes sense because, because, because that probably would have, have made like a crap ton of sprite flicker. Yes, on it. so it was unrealistic for, for Bebop and Rocksteady to be like just hanging out in that freight elevator just waiting. It's like, we're going to come around, around the corner. <laughs> it's really cool how in the arcade version of that fight, though, they, like, run into each other, though. Yeah. Yeah. I can believe you're already on Crane. Yeah, it's not a very long game. The, the NES game's, like, longer. I mean, that's one of the reasons I've always liked the NES game, is it feels a little more substantial. Like, it's, I, I like the snow level and the Shogun level. You know, for the gameplay that I recorded of this, it's its so silly, but, uh, so, this, since it's a digital eclipse release, it has, like, a, uh, an ability to watch an entire playthrough. And oh, yeah. So, I just, like, play, like, I just, like, let it go and record it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not, why not? Right? Well, for, like, the Game Boy games and stuff just to get like a smattering of, of footage from it. it, just, it I mean, sense, I would, right? I'd do that to save time on like regular games. But the problem is like, if you have the gameplay <laughs> demo uh, of like just a regular console game, it will often say like press start or, you know, there'll be a, it, or, or there'll be an indication that like the player isn't tagged in or something. Right. Right. Although oftentimes the gameplay is not great on on console attract screens. So try you had mentioned yesterday that you were thinking about playing through Stray on New Year's Eve. Did you end up playing through it? I, well, no, because I was just I was way too tired. Uh, I I didn't I didn't really do much of anything other than just kind of uh, just follow the comments a bit and uh, respond to comments and <laughs> hang out in the discords. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't do much yesterday. Uh, today, though, I, um, I, I I beat and platinumed Dio Field Chronicle. That's right. I, I saw you say something about that, about how it's like really kind of an easy plat platinum. One. It was a very easy. Pl All I had to do after... And I wasn't even sure if I was going into the last mission or not. Um, so I, I would have done this ahead of time if I'd known, because I, I thought I, because I feel like I've never beaten a game, and we're like the game beat trophy is what also triggers the platinum trophy. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever done that. Well, and I thought that would be cool, but it turned out to be the last mission, and the only thing I needed to do was get a character to level fifty. Yeah. You got a trophy. I and I, I, beat every game. <laughs> I had uh, limited quarters. <laughs> I had uh, I had one character like level forty six or something. So then I, I I I spent like forty minutes grinding after the credits rolled, and I hit fifty and I got the platinum. <laughs> so there Not you bad. go. Uh, how is Dio Field? Uh, watch the games we played in 2022. <laughs> uh, you said that that's like the game that you talked about the most, right? I feel like that might be the game, like the single game that I wrote the most words about. And and oftentimes, oh, look at, like... Look at, look at that shimmer right there. You can really see the shimmer right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, shimmer, like, like the weird, like, ripples as it's moving across the screen. Oh, yeah. I That's just because it's like scaled unevenly. Um, but uh, hence the arcade board. 
But yeah, I mean, you know, it was a game that, like, I, I just felt like I had a lot to say because it was, like, it's, I, I think, like, the core design is really cool and, like, it, it, you know, the menu system and interface is is, is attractive and easy to use. Um, but uh, it, it, it's it's got some limitations in the game design that I think hold it back from being as we're, interesting we're as it could be. Yeah. yeah. Or we, we can play the arcade version of it if you wanted to. Uh, dealer's play... choice. Dealer's choice. All right, we'll play the Super Nintendo version. Oh, hang on. I got to make sure I have the... Okay. Right, let's, let's, let's turn on the extra light so we can do that. Yeah. Oh, Madonna Sheehy played some Kirby Superstar tonight thanks to my influence. You know, so, something that I was I was uh, talking about uh, uh, what was it in the Discord? Uh, I I think it was in the Discord. Yeah, it was in the Discord. I was talking about last night. Um, the the day of the too real to be real story uh, <laughs> was was the day Kirby Superstar came out. So yeah. I actually, I actually, uh, I believe I had it pre-ordered. Might have been the first game I ever pre-ordered, possibly. Um, and I I went to Toys R Us to pick it up, and they had an N64 kiosk. You know, this was like, I, like a week or two, I think, maybe, before the system came out. Whatever day Kirby Superstar came out. And, you know, I, I had this, like, transcendent experience <laughs> playing the N64 where, I mean, I my, my mind just melted. And... Uh, <laughs> melted? Melted. Like, like I've, I've, I've told you before how, like, I, like, I couldn't even see, like, the polygons. Like, I couldn't see the flaws. Like, it was just, it was real. Like what I was just, it was just, it was just real what I was looking at. Like, I, I don't know what else to tell you. It was just, it was, other than it was, it was too real to be real. <laughs> <laughs> but then like I get home and pop in Kirby Superstar and they have this intro that plays, you know, the one that I played at the beginning of my segment there. Yeah. And, like, it's got, like, Kirby flying around this, like, Mode 7 thing. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh, this looks like N64. <laughs> <laughs> how did they do that? Them. I was just like, how'd they do that? Yeah, I was just, like, bl totally blown away by this opening. And then, like, as I'm telling my friends about this, like, unbelievable experience I had playing N64 at Toys R Us, like... I show them Kirby Superstars opening. I'm like, that's what it looked like. But you could play it. <laughs> and so like, you know, but it's like, it's kind of like Kirby in a 3D, moving around the 3D environment, right? And I didn't understand like the difference between being made with polygons versus being made with sprites. Like I didn't, I didn't understand that. And, um, uh, but, you know, like ever since that, really, I mean, that day, the day of the too real to be real, uh, I like that was the day, really, because I played Mario 64 for the first. There's Baxter. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you're, you're, no, duh, you changed games. Yeah. Um, but uh, they... Um, Oh, like, like, like ever from that moment, from that <laughs> moment, played a 3D platformer, saw Kirby in fake 3D. Like, I have wanted a 3D Kirby platformer since that day. And I finally got it in 2022. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a little bit of an emotional experience. Yeah, a lot of people really connected with you, like, talking about that, though. I think. I, 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 haven't, I haven't had as much time to... Well, since I was playing, finishing up Dio Field, I haven't looked at 
all of the comments today, so I haven't seen a, a whole lot of that. Although, although I saw, I saw, I saw a choir boy in the, in the, in the the Discord, uh, talking about how my, uh, my my take on it was appreciated, which I, which I, I I knew he would appreciate it. We are we are we are the big Kirby fans in the Discord. I was I was a little, I hope that more people would like be confused or like at least laugh about the whole like five dates bit. <laughs> I was confused. I mean, I knew you were You're doing like, well, it. Is it supposed to be quiet like that. I'm like, yeah, like I edited it's it in, in a way to like make it try to make it as like awkward as possible. And I like cut the entire conversation <laughs> where she's like, "Sorry, I was late. I had to pee." And, like, there's a whole thing they had to like that transpires during that. But I just like cut it where it's like i had the pee and she's like okay well bye <laughs> it, like, hangs up like i thought it was funny i mean it was funny there, there were a lot of funny little moments in there you know like you know what i kind of liked like i kind of i kind of want to copy this in a way i don't know if it was intentional or not but there were there were a couple of segments where you like the what you wrote at the end of it like didn't necessarily feel like the end of a segment but then you just kind of like made this like shrug gesture or something at the end and then cut it to the which i thought was kind of funny and fun oh, like like on my on camera stuff yeah oh like, I, I, like where you, i've been where you were like, in inspired by like how you like are more animated in your yeah. like on camera stuff so i just tried to just like be more more me just like right i don't know right well i mean but like i just thought it was funny because like you like you finish saying what you were saying and then you're just like you know you're like well the one caveat being that bayonetta has this ending that will never be taught by any video game ever and then like you, there's kind of this feeling like yes and but then you're just like you just <laughs> do the shrug and, the it. and i kind of loved it <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could go into it, but I don't want to spoil that either. I know. Oh, I know. I know. I mean, there, there, no video game ever has and ever will top what happens in the at the end of the final boss fight and Bayonetta one. Like, yeah. I mean, it's just you. You can't. You. It cannot be topped. Yeah. Um. There was a 199 from Mike Maples with no comment, but oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, so I, I there was a bit in the uh, uh, like I, I cut a bit out of the script talking about like why I went from Yakuza 7 to Yakuza 1 and skipped uh, 0. So the reason I skipped zero for now is I, I, I kind of want to play them in a more uh, like a loose release order. And I will, so I'll play zero between five and six. And I think, I feel as though it'll add better context to stuff to like, I'll, I'll be able to more fully appreciate, uh, you know, like references for, to things that are going to, are going to happen. Yeah, well, I mean, considering you've already gone down the route of Kiwami to Kiwami 2, like, I don't think jumping back to zero necessarily makes sense right now. Yeah. And to be yeah. honest, because, I, mean, I mean, so I, I, I respond to a comment at some point today saying that, like, oh, zero is a better starting point. And I, I was saying that, like, I actually kind of disagree because zero is the only one I've played so far. And don't get me wrong. Like it was a really good story. I really appreciated, you know, the 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 distinctly yakuza blend of of like super serious, like legitimately really well done drama with like the most wacky goofball stuff imaginable. Like yeah. <laughs> the way it balances that is what makes what makes it. That's what makes it. But it was also really long. Right. And I feel like the fact that it was so long is what has kind of made me slow to start other games of the series, even though I know like outside of uh, like, I guess seven. And then I apparently five or six is pretty long too. Like they're mostly right. not 
at nearly as long as zero. Most of them aren't. But oh, sorry. like that, that, that it's like a rewind. I was I was slow to I, I have been slow to play others because of that, even though I know now they aren't. But like I was like really unsure if I was like it, this was great, but it, maybe it's enough for me because I, I didn't like super love the brawler combat. It was fine. Right. Uh, but like, but then when it was announced that seven was going to be an RPG, I was like, Oh, well, I'll totally play that. Yeah. You know, an RPG with a new character and everything like that. You know, I, I became interested again. Although I, 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 I will admit I did get Kiwami cause it was like five or $10 or something. One, one year on black Friday. So I have had Kiwami for a while. Uh, you know, I thought I had Kiwami too, but I, I, I actually don't. So I, I, I still need to get Kiwami, uh, Kiwami two and six, I guess. Mm. And then there's no English physical of dead souls, I guess. Right. Well, there is on the P uh, PlayStation three. And Ishin is coming out next year. Yeah. The remake. But I don't know. Like, I feel like if I played Zero and then going into Kiwami, uh, you know, like Majima is like such a big character in Zero. I'd be like, well, how come he's only like this as kind of a really minor part in in Kiwami? Like, I, I want to have that build of like getting to know him. Mm. And then you go back and it's like, OK, now I'm going to find out all of his backstory. What's so interesting is have, have, with me having only played Zero, I I actually, like, now, like, I had never seen, like, what Majima's, like, what, like, what, like, what his style is like in, uh, in the later games until the end of Zero, where he, like, puts on the clothes that he wears and... The first game. Oh right, and yeah. Like once he gets like his uh, his snake print. Well, like, uh, I mean, I don't like remember so. if he had that, but like he just like like his hair was different, his yeah. clothing style was different. Like, and to me, like he did, like he didn't come across as this like really unhinged character. I didn't think in right. Zero. So, I. I don't know. I maybe it would feel different. Like maybe you would see the progression of his character more, I suppose, if you had known who he was ahead of time, because it, it sort of almost seemed out of left field to me. They're like, Oh wow. He like, he just kind of feels different than he was. And, and maybe part of that was just like, because I was playing as him and you know, Kiryu is like the kind of, the kind of like, you know, he, he's, he's a good guy, Yakuza, you know, he, 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 you know, he, he sticks to his, to his, his, his morals and his beliefs and sense of honor and everything. Right. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, it's like 50, 50 Kiryu, 50, 50 Majima, uh, like, in some ways I, I may have been like projecting that sort of more sort of that neutral good guy protagonist persona on him, you know? Yeah. And maybe I would have thought about it differently if I had known him as a character in the other games first. So right. I, I, I don't think you're necessarily wrong. Yeah. I feel, I feel good about the, the approach you made. are. Even yeah, though yeah, like, I, you know, they do make it's small appearances in, in like a dragon but the, you know it's it was for as, as much as they, they did not appear very like very often or very much in like a dragon and i think that it made me curious about those characters more to go back and play them uh, hmm. in, in the, those originals i guess <laughs> so i mean i, I feel very good about the the no the gaming order. says majima Majima is a disguise. Zero explains how it came about. Four hints towards there being more to him. So, see, I feel like that kind of flew over my head. And that, that oh, okay. makes a lot of sense. So, yeah. Sense. I, I feel like that flew over my head. And then, like, 
when I'm seeing him like seem feeling like a different kind of guy at the end, I'm like, huh, this doesn't make sense. But right, like maybe so, so it would have connected a lot better if I knew him as as. And then you, you. had the, the idea. And then you found out like, oh, maybe there's more to him. And then you get the. Season. Then you play zero. Yeah. Let, let, let me tell you though, his his intro cutscene in Zero is incredible. It's like <laughs> one of the highlights of the game for sure. I look forward to getting to it. So I, I don't know if you uh, you notice in the last sewer section, mm -hmm. the uh, alien creatures like they look like the xenomorphs. Yeah, they are, yeah like the xenomorphs. Do you see what their names are? No. And I don't know if it's a product of just lazy writing. It's just pizza monster. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure it's part of an episode, you know, that I either or never saw or don't remember. It's, or it's a Pizza Hut tie-in. Well, or, or just, just <laughs> like, we need to have something, like, you know. Like, what, it's like, we like, need to look at, like, a Xenomorph, but also Pizza Monster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Pizza Monster. I always like that. Um, How it does, like, the there the was cameras, uh, yeah. a $5 super chat from Alan Batsford. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Saying, hey, Dry is a Final Fantasy 11 fan. I need to tell you about Horizon 11. It's a new FF11 private server that is blowing up. 4,500 concurrent players. That's a ton. I, I feel like I remember back in the day on Sylph, like maybe 2,000 yeah. concurrent players was pretty typical, if I'm re remembering correctly. So that is, that is kind of a ton. Uh, that, that sounds... Uh, that sounds fun to check out. I I, 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 I do I, I do have access to a a much smaller uh, private server that, that that that's that's fun to use every now and then. Um, I assume you use the the Ashita or however you say it uh, thing. You add a you add like a different server to that that you could select. I assume. Yeah, it's, it's interesting using the private the private servers. I'm banishing you to time warp. Let's do let's do the time warp wow. again. What was his name? Swear shutters. It's Oroku uh, Saki. Oroku Saki. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, 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 I've been thinking lately because there's like. <laughs> There's there's this part of my back patio, which is just a concrete slab, that has like this dirt on it that just like seems to never wash away. <laughs> and like when I'm when I like take Sandy outside and I'm walking on it and like I hear the way that it especially when it's wet and the way I hear like the the soles of my slippers on it like crunching. You know, I, I always think back to the beginning of the Ninja Turtles movie. And, you know, when April leaves the news station and it's like, it's all wet outside and she's like walking on the, on like the, the, the New York streets, the dirty New York streets and like the Foley in that, like for her footsteps is like really like prominent and crunchy and it was uh, like that was like the first time i ever thought about like adding effects like in post to make it like work. i don't know if i thought about it was like added in post but it was like it was like the first time that i really thought like about sound effects mm, in movies yeah. like it was the first time that like i ever like like I was like, wow, like that sounds cool. Like that, that sound adds is adding something, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like it was like the first time I like ever thought that as a kid, I was just oh, like, nice. like those, like just <laughs> those footsteps are just like so crunchy sounding. <laughs> but as you say, she's walking on, on New York street. <laughs> well, I mean, it's New York. It could be cockroaches. Well, well, but did you know that, that like most of the Ninja Turtles movie was shot in North Carolina. I don't know if like a lot of, if there's anybody that knows a lot about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle lore or something like that, but can somebody educate me and where did, 
Shredder and Krang like come up with like the amount of money to like because like all the foot soldiers are robots, right? Like, where do they? Well, get the it, it depends. I mean, can somebody explain the. I'm sure I mean, I think the, I mean, the, behind this, like, I mean, we've killed. They're robots in the robots. TV show, but they're. I think they're humans in the comics and and. But and here they're, movies. They're here in the they're movie, they're just, they're just kids. So where did? But here they're robots. That's so. why. That's why they don't like. Uh, in the movies, like they're just kids. That's why they don't kill anybody. Well, where did they come up with the money for this? I mean, I feel like we're just oh, like. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Just like. I, I, you know what? You're. I think you're overthinking it. I think that it does. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Well, I know it doesn't matter. Well, they, but they, I think it, here's a discussion. Maybe they have a ton of money in Dimension X. <laughs> and that's. The they have just, an investment. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there is, uh, uh, a 199, uh, from, from L Danger. Oh, thank you. Uh, that, letting you know that it is, is that toward, towards their rent. Oh. I, I, towards, towards, towards their rent? Yeah, I guess. Are they, are they like, are they like living in your walls or something? <coughs> Excuse me. I knew that was covered. <laughs> um, there was also a five dollar super chat from Koala Koa. Oh. Who uh, says that Pizza Monster comes from season two, episode six, The Case of the Killer Pizza. Oh, there you Pizza go. Pizza oh, aired okay. 1988. Wow. So that's pretty early. I like yeah. this. There you go. It's better than Wikipedia. <laughs> like getting my, getting my news right away. You, you never you never had to take your your game control your hands yeah. off the game controller to buy <laughs> like, that info. <laughs> and to be fair, Corey, like yes, there's it's a relevant like conversation, but we've had like dumber conversations I mean, that, that, like as we were kids, like <laughs> our debates. It, I, but it, I mean, it's it's about as as relevant as like <laughs> as like the uh, like the Death Star construction workers and clerks. Still conversation. Yeah. But I mean, we can um, think of the, like, how are they? Yeah, going? this is exact. It's, it's, we're, I'm trying to like narrate this like Kevin Smith would. <laughs> <laughs> um, sp speaking of, of Koala Koa, I believe that uh, he actually had a super chat on screen when, <laughs> uh, when you did that, that video. Uh, Talk about the clip talking about the stream on, on the video. I think that was. Oh. I think it was a koala koa. Um, and I, I don't know if if EB Chill noticed or not, but the uh, is this better than Fuse on the Grapple Dog stream? Uh, was was on on screen on the stream <laughs> in, in the clip that I that I used in, in the little Grapple Dog bit. Grapple Dog. Yeah, and Madonna Sheehy was there, and Zane's dad was there talking about farts, <laughs> which was caused by Pixel Phoenix, which was caused by Corey Sadat on his podcast. <laughs> there, 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 there was a lot of chain reactions to why people were talking about the things they were in, the, yes. in that Many moment that you, and randomly, that, that you randomly chose. I, I did. I did appreciate that you threw in the the hot, the hot uh, chip, the hot tortilla chip, though, in there, and me saying like I almost just just pooped my pants. There, like I, I really wanted to. I really wanted to like. There's put like a lot of potty on... humor in this in that episode. If you look for <laughs> yeah, there it. should like, be between that and like the uh, sorry I had the pee. Bit. And like there's there's a lot of potty humor in there that that is it, like is more subliminal i think or just not outright no, it's like, subtle it's subtle it's not in your face yeah but th there was also some some enemies with like some like dinosaur enemies <laughs> in a jet cave with like some poop if you if you looked for it oh they're just throw, like throwing it well I, I i don't remember but like there was poop sitting there in the in the clips I used, I'm not sure how it got there, but then like it faded away, so it must have been part of an attack. Um, <laughs> but uh, it fades away. Uh, 
What was, it, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say, I was gonna say something else. Uh, oh, but I, I, I wanted to put it, put like, like I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't draw it out because it was the lightning round, so I only had thirty seconds per clip. You, you, you notice that sometimes, like I like am finishing what I'm saying when the sound effect to go to the next segment comes, and like I was, I was strict, like. Each of those, most of those are like 30 seconds to the frame, but I, like, I, I love them... the fact that that's what you did. And I, you know, it makes me just think like we should do a thing where it's like 100 random games reviewed 30 seconds each. <laughs> and it's just like random games. I mean, that's, I mean, you don't Joe know what does... it's going to be. Yeah. Like that would actually be really like, fun. Yeah. Like 30 seconds. Street. And it's just like literally. Like just like totally unrelated games just like yeah. 100 <laughs> which is what they seconds. are they are totally unrelated games yeah but i could see like a whole episode of that um but but like i was strict about it, but when when the segment wasn't quite 30 seconds i you know i i did what the sound effect and the transition to the next one go sooner there are a few that are are shorter but most of them are like exactly 30 to the frame. Um, but I, because, because of, of how strict I was being, I, uh, I, I didn't have time, but like, I, I wanted to like have like some sort of indication that this was like, not like immediately as you're eating the chip, like this is 16 minutes later. Yeah. yeah. You're just like, just now <laughs> I felt like I was going to poop my pants. Was, I remember specifically for a like split a split second. second. For a split second. I, I, I was like, I was like trying to clarify was like, was this like right after you ate the chip or was this like right now? Cause like, I, I don't know how to articulate what the, the different implied meaning of that is. But like, I, I, I feel like the fact that this is 16 minutes after you, you ate the chip, like, it was happening it, because of the. It spells trouble. Like there are things happening in your body that are like progressing, right? Yes. Oh yeah. Like I mean, the is situation is continuing to evolve after your mouth is no longer in pain. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we don't want to talk about foot soldiers, like like how they're built, but we were talking about like your ability to eat a hot your chip movements. Yeah, and then, like. In... <laughs> Almost poop my pants my, poop on live stream. <laughs> uh, there was uh, there was a four dollar super uh, or no 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 a notification that Scott Snyder has been a member uh, for twenty eight months in a row. Twenty eight. Wow. Twenty eight. Nice. Thank you. Saying happy new year, gents. Love the new video. Here's to the year of of him like new room tours, RGB masterclass, Analog Frontiers four and five, and as always, keeping it. Too real to be real. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, you I, know I, what? I feel I, like good about. I feel confident about you getting yeah, all of those things. That was a... Yeah, I mean, I kind of do also. And like I said at the very end of the video, you know, we've been doing this. The channel started 10 years ago. I feel like it would be really cool to have like a really prolific year. Yes. And in a way that, you know, like I there, there's one person like we always get these. Like one comment on the year end video every year. It's like this. I think it's like usually the same person. They don't ever comment except for on the year end video. They basically just comment to say like, you guys aren't as good as you used to be. <laughs> and then, so like, you, you, know, want, you, like want, you don't release you the very fast. And they say anymore. that next year or this year after we have a really good year. Yeah. But <laughs> I want to just like try to you know, make that person not appear one time. Because every year it's like, is that Actually, I think it'd be really funny if they did. It's the same person, and they say, you guys aren't as good as you used to be, and if you don't get better next year, I'm going to unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> or you have right? a lot of, you have a lot of people like, who are uh, giving you thanks right now, and... Oh, oh, I know, I know. It's just, <laughs> it's just one of those things. Like, I always I laugh know. because it's, you know, if... That person never comments on any other video. They we're, just I mean, basically we're, we're, show up on the year-end video to say, like, you're not as good as this. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're pretty good at taking that stuff in good humor. <laughs> yeah, it's like, just funny to think about. Like, you know, you guys used to, like, you know, release videos really fast. And, uh, you know, it's just like, it's not, it's not as good anymore. 
And if you don't get better next year, I'm gonna I'm going to unsubscribe. <laughs> uh, they're they one. <laughs> but maybe they did this year. I don't know. They haven't. They have not commented. We haven't gotten that comment. At least I haven't seen it. Yet. And you're just like, well, bye. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> like I can't. I can't, can't do anything. But I would love to do it. Like, be have like such a prolific. Oh, geez, is that the last? I thought you had. No. Good luck. <laughs> Oh, we, we've got Audi in the chat saying oh. 2023 is the year year the ghost of Phoenix Pass will haunt Try. We we wanted to do to do it this year, <laughs> but obviously there was no time. Like we like we we were we were going to like have like the at the end of my one of my segments like all of a sudden like we we're like oh like he could appear and like have me play a really bad game. <laughs> maybe next year or this year. Um, there, there was a 499 from Derek uh, Foster saying, does Chris also wonder what Sh Shredder's interest rate for a 30-year fixed was on the Technodrome? I mean, I mean, do you know that? I mean... <laughs> I mean, does I that, feel does, like... Does that information exist somewhere? I mean, I, I, I mean, the Technodrome is, like, totally These illegal. Kind of like, he doesn't... He doesn't. I, I, I'm sure there's no way that like he has gone through any legal channels <laughs> for the yeah. room, right? Well, I don't know. There's some shady banks out there. There could he just got to go like one of those. Well, I mean, yeah. the, the yeah, Techno comes from Dominion X anyway, <laughs> right? Like Shredder didn't build it. <laughs> um, I'll play, play a different one here. All right. Um, let's play the uh, let's play the arcade game too. If you play the arcade version, you can keep putting in quarters. Yeah. Um, there was also a five dollars super chat from Captain Swag. Thank you. Oh, sorry, it's not even paying that. You know, Say it, uh, you guys are subtle. I don't think anyone has noticed that you're sponsored by Charmin. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I, I like this is probably like an old meme or something, but I, I had seen it before. <laughs> It made me it made me laugh. Where I I I I I posted a picture in the Discord last night. I'm like, uh oh, try tries getting crazy oh, on on, uh, on on New Year's Eve over here. I've I've got I've got Mountain Dew and Chalupas. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it was Zade's dad uh, that posted sorry. a picture of like I, I I guess it's Photoshop, but it looked pretty real. I was I was really hoping this was a real thing of someone in a store holding. A, um, uh, a, um, some Makes package of different. toilet paper that had like Taco Bell branding on it, it and it said, it said Fiesta Strength. <laughs> Fiesta Strength? <laughs> what? Fiesta, it was Fiesta Strength toilet paper. Because oh. <laughs> that's when you're going to need it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, you know, uh, I've been uh, playing, I'm like highly addicted to what I think is going to be like a front runner for my 2023 game of the year, and that is uh, Returnal, and holy crap, like I don't even like, like roguelikes, but I, I've somehow, I don't even know how this is possible, I've somehow put 22 hours into it. Really? Wow. Somehow. And I just I, got I mean, the Biome I... 4. I was I was hoping to start it sometime soon. I don't know if you're too far ahead for us to do any no, co-op. But the thing is, like, I'm not. Like, I can. It, you start clean basically every time. You just host the game and you get progress. So I can. So help you can you catch go. Up. So you can go to another. But like, you say you're in Bio Four. Do you when you start playing a new round, can you immediately get to Bio Four, or do you have to work up to it? You you there's shortcuts to get to it. I see. Uh, because if you just like went straight to it, you know, you, you kind of like need like weapons or like, you know, you want to lengthen your, uh, health bar and stuff as much as you can getting up to it to like be able to survive longer. But it is like, it is so good and I have no idea where the story is going. And I love the, the weird mystery, uh, like there's a, like, Things get real weird once you like finish Biome Three. No, no, no spoilers. Well, cause, but cause, I, can, I mean, I can, the co the co-op stuff, like I can help you play. 
And, okay, well, and like, I, I mean, I'm, not, I, I, I'm not coming into your game with like being super powered or anything like that because there's very few things that carry over between runs. Yeah. Well, I'll 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 start it like I'll start it this week sometime. So here's another thing that I did not know was the case, and this might make it might sound tempting. Did you know that Stranger of Paradise is playable like from beginning to end co-op? Like like three people. Was it always that way or is that like I a think new so. Thing? So Really? That's yeah, kind of like awful. only the person hosting like really gets the progress, but the uh the other people like play as the other party members. Hmm. Interesting. I had no idea. Yeah. Um, it, uh, Eric Monado said that I want to try Returnal, but also don't like roguelikes. I have heard nothing but good things about the game from people who also don't like roguelikes. Like, oh, like it mean, doesn't seem like the roguelikeness of it like has anything to do with whether people like it or not. Because I'm not really into roguelike type stuff either. Right. It more than anything, it almost feels like it's an arcade game. Mm hmm that you can you can rush through but uh you won't be like powerful enough to like really last towards like later on uh so i mean if you if you view it as a <laughs> kind of like almost like a retro arcade game well and and that's that's what the developers roots are because they're the ones that did like um uh what, what's it is it called resonance or something like that uh the that that like um that like shooter game with like all the particle effects that came out the like a PS4 launch. Oh oh Resigun. Resigun. Yeah. They've done other things. Uh, oh they sure, did they love um, their particles, I'll tell you that. Like they use oh, yeah. particles like crazy. Uh they, they they did Next Machina as well, which I yes, love. Which is yeah, very good. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the, like arcade style action is is like their roots. Yeah, it's with good. Part I mean, I would love to play co-op with you, and I can help you like get caught up. But like, just me playing doesn't mean that like it's guaranteed progress. I'm not going to come in there like being, uh, you know, super powerful. The expert. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I will know how to fight bosses and stuff. But if you're hosting the game, and you can host private matches or private games. So you basically just do a cycle together. I was just thinking like a playoff of like Johnny Five. This thing maybe with like boxing mitts. Johnny Johnny Five. Johnny Five is alive. You know I I bought that. Oh, Did you? Yeah, I haven't seen that one. I wasn't gonna watch it with the kids. There was a a twenty dollar super chat from Jesse Whoa. Glenn. Nice. Thank you. Saying producing quality over quantity is certainly what I see with your content. You guys have so many videos that are almost seen now as reference material for each subject. Not like those subjects need reinvented again and again. Although, you know, I mean, retro retro gaming moves fast these days. Yeah. Can I grab that pizza? <laughs> it's, always, it's, always, it's always evolving. Quality, hence um, why I'm here on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but, uh, hey now, Korvac, don't say Resogun's the only good PS4 launch game. We've got, yeah, there's, Knack, Knack is good. Yeah, Knack, absolutely. Knack, Knack is good. Come on. We should put Matt, Knack 2 on 10 games we're going to play next year. Oh, yeah. I mean, I played through, like, almost half of it. I, I, well, we played, we, you and I played co-op, but it doesn't have online <laughs> co-op, does it? Or is it local only? Because if it was online, I'd be totally up for finishing. Yeah, I don't. I don't know, honestly. I honestly don't know. You know, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm curious if anyone noticed in like my Monster Halloween. Hunter Stories two segment that oh, my, my character is monsters. named is named Higgins and has his. <laughs> Face is is inspired by Takahashi Meijin. I, I tried to make him look as mu have as much of a a uh, Adventure Island style Takahashi Meijin face as possible. 
I, I feel like th I, I might kind of make that my Monster Hunter thing. Assuming, I mean, I, 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 I'm swearing that, that Rise is the last chance that, 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 that the series is going to get for me. Uh, well, <laughs> we'll see if that ends up being true. But I want to understand. But it's just like, I, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I just, it's, it's not, it fails to click. Um, but I'm I'm somewhat optimistic about Rise, but so yeah, I'm I'm thinking about just just making Takahashi Meiji my my my, my monster hunter character. <laughs> That's just what I'll always do for Monster Hunter. I don't know. I think it'd be. Did fun. you did you laugh about the like the slightly pixelated face? Oh yeah, that was great. <laughs> that was that was a good deal of effort. <laughs> I even animated it so it moves up and down. Yeah, it goes to the sprite, <laughs> going boop, boop, boop. I mean, there's just something about that, like, you know, slightly askew, curled lip smile that just, yeah. like, you just look at me and you're like, this guy is just, like, a good a good guy. Yeah. Just just a good guy. Wait, oh, is someone saying you can play online? Can you play, are you talking about Knack, too? I mean, I think they're talking about Monster Hunter. Oh. The thing, though, is, like, like, you know, I mean, I, online play is, like, such a commitment that, like, I know we're talking about, but, like, we so rarely make the time to play online stuff together. I mean, we did Shredder's Revenge, and we did... Uh, it takes two, and that's like all we've done in the past two years, and that was more Pizza than hunters. we had done online in many years. So, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, I mean, I know I play Final Fantasy fourteen, but I mostly play it as a single-player game. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, I, online is, you know, it's, it's difficult to, like, coordinate that stuff, and, you know... I, you know, I, I don't know. Wow, pizza I, I want the game to be good, even what, regardless of whether you're co-oping or not. And I think it it needs to be good in both modes of play. But we'll see. We'll see. There he is. He's a giant floating he head. He speaks. So they like totally skip over the the uh, technodrome. Oh, interesting. I mean, it, it's kind of cool how you go there because it's it's almost like a fake out. Yeah, like it, it feels like it could plaza <laughs> like you've played enough levels to where like it feels like it could plausibly be the end of a really short game. Yes. <laughs> Uh, there was sense. like like I bought this game called Turtles in Time. There's no time <laughs> travel in it. Um, there uh, there was a five dollar super chat from Dan Hendricks. Oh, thank you. Just saying, happy 2023. Yeah, I was gonna say I I think this is the first time we've ever streamed on New Year's Day. Usually, you know, it just it just worked out in this way because you know with uh, Christmas and New Year's being on a Sunday. Like Christmas, we weren't going to, and it worked out in our favor last year because, you know, I meant that my birthday was on, uh, on a stream night, and that like that was fun where we just kind of hung out and talked, like didn't like play anything in particular. But this is the first time we really uh, streamed, and the only re I mean, Chris being here is the only reason that we're actually even streaming. Tonight. Like we would have, we probably would have taken today off. I mean, we, oh, so every New no, Year's Day. No, we, I, I don't, I don't think there's a reason to take New Year's Day off. I do. I mean, usually we have like our New Year's Day brunch thing and it usually goes all day. And if I didn't have to pick up Chris at the, uh, at the, uh, at the airport, you know, like I would have been like 12 Bloody Marys deep by this time. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have called could, off the show. I could have I would have. Uber. No, no, no. I, I, been I was good. It's good. Bloody, Bloody Marys good for deep me. for this. Yeah, I. nobody wants me to be 12 Bloody Marys oh. deep on a live stream. Take a vote. 
<laughs> that's, that's what, yeah, everyone wants me to <laughs> embarrass myself. I'd like. <laughs> well, it could have been like, uh, I think they canceled it last night, but uh, it was uh, like CNN with a. Uh... Anderson Cooper and stuff like that. They told him not to drink this year. <laughs> oh, did he? Did they didn't drink. Like, they they weren't allowed to drink. Oh, then they can't. Then they canceled the. Uh, they canceled the event on there. No, it was still happening, but everybody was just like, it was super boring. Oh, it's no fun when. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not to say that that's like a good time, but it's one of those things where it's like. So I watched. Uh, I watched uh, uh, Speed Racer with my kids last night. Have you seen the Speed Racer movie, right? Uh, no, I didn't. I watched, uh, we watched, uh... It is, it is, it's, I mean, I haven't seen it in a long time, but it, it's pretty good. Uh, Try you, you've seen Speed Racer, right? I, I, it was a long time ago, but I've only seen it once, but I, I liked it, yeah. Um, it is good. If, if I, I would be super curious to see what that script is like, because that, the editing in that movie is insane. If you watch it, like watch it again, the way that it adds context and stuff and like like flashbacks and stuff, like in the middle of scenes is actually like really insane. The editing is like, I don't even understand how you would be able to write something like that because so much of that movie is made in the editing. Hmm. Like the storytelling, the way it's like, inter, like interweaved into the way that it's edited. Uh, I mean, like, I think it's really good. And in a way, it is probably about as close as we would ever get to what an F-Zero movie would be like. Mm. Just because of the way that the, the tracks, like, the racing segment isn't just like it was in the cartoon. It's more like these, like, floating raceways with lots of, like, spinning into each other and stuff. It is it is very close to how I would imagine a F Zero movie to be. It, you know, this this probably sounds funny, but another another thing that I always won back in the N sixty four days was was it was an F Zero RPG. <laughs> <laughs> like when I saw like all the all characters, of, right? Like like when I saw like you know how many characters they added for F Zero X, like there are so many characters in that game. It's like, you know, like, I feel like, I feel like an F-Zero RPG could actually be really interesting. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Like, just like that, that world feels fleshed out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and I don't think it is necessarily. Like, I don't think it's they've necessarily like, to, like thought build. that much about the universe and stuff, but just like the way the art is drawn and yeah. like very basic surface level backstories they have for the characters. Like it feels like it's very fleshed out. Like it just, it feels like there's a lot there that, that you could, you could make an RPG about it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I could see that being the case. And then, you know, you get the, GX and all those characters have like their own theme songs. Yeah, I that know, is of, right? Like, that is the fact that all those characters have theme songs is probably is a super good example of developers really going an ex the extra mile to add further co like context to the character. That, that, that's you, probably you, like it, it says uh, the, the the style of the song says so much about the character's personality. I mean that that is probably the the most like self indulgent thing that has ever been put in a video game that should like not have been approved and yet it was. Yeah, <laughs> like you know that was you know the F Zero GX was directed by the Yakuza director, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean it's just crazy to think about that. That is. I mean he's obviously an extremely talented producer because he knows how to get things done. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, there was a, uh, uh, $2 super chat from, from Mag Ma Magus 1200 BC or no 12,000 BC. Oh, I, I, I'm assuming this is, this is, uh, yeah. It's your, it's your trigger. Some sort of Chrono Trigger reference. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
saying, uh, could you play the Street Fighter clone online? Do, do you know what he's referring to? Street Fighter clone online. Oh, you mean the uh, tournament fighters on here? I think it has online mode. I don't think that they're particularly good, though. Well, I mean, there's there's like three versions of that, right? Yeah, yeah. And they're all I mean, Audi, Audi has has expressed his opinions to those about us uh, to to us before. I want to say he thinks that the NES one is the best one is is the best, uh, and I think the Genesis is the worst. Like they're they're all they they all play really differently. I think, but I think Audi is of the opinion, not to put words in his mouth, but. If I recall correctly, I think he thinks that the NES one is at least interesting. Maybe not great. Yeah, I mean, the Genesis one is definitely the worst. Then the Genesis one is just apparently really bad. I'm kind of amazed that like I'm getting a stuffy nose here. I've not had. <laughs> I haven't had a cold in a long time. I didn't think I only got a cold last year. No, we still got but it's a, game a good tomorrow, timing so. because now I like my I'm gonna have cold cold voice. Well, I feel like I don't know how your holiday really was, but it's like it's like once it kind of like calms down from just like the the hustle of all that stuff and family and whatnot, you're finally like when your body rests, you're like yeah, and I'm prone to <laughs> just getting yeah, sick you're just, right now. you're just really tired and yeah. Especially with the kids and with everything. Yeah. <laughs> Not the best plane, but to quote try, it's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I do feel like I say that a lot where I'm like, where I'm like, I'm like, oh, like, this isn't that good, but, but it's interesting. <laughs> yeah. I like how they also arm the, the foot, like those one guys with like tuning forks. They're just like, yeah, like, what are you going to have? Like, we, <laughs> this, is, this is a good weapon. We'll give these guys swords. We'll give these guys axes. You get tuning forks. I like, the, I like the fact that those rock guys are just carrying around steel girders. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's what, like, they're just like, oh, they just have, like, the... Like the I mean, is that, like, the correct term? I always think of... Also, did they have them in the Old West? Like, ride, ride the, st like the, the steel girders. That seems like a game player's game take. Well, take, they had, take. I guess, their they're iron, like, maybe railroad tracks or something like that, I guess, if it's, uh... This, but it does look like a... I mean, didn't you say... Haven't you said that the girders is one of your favorite words? Yeah. And, like, specifically, like, steel girders. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there, there's going to be a backlogger stream tomorrow. We, we don't know for sure what we, what we're doing. I, I suggested to drum. We just do a little, a little now playing cleanup. Yeah. You know, I need to, I, I need You're to. You're thinking about uh, like, uh, just kind of, you, you've had a lot of stuff on your now playing list for years, really. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm actually, so what I'm playing to do, uh, I was actually going to do it before the stream, but I end up not having enough time. Uh, I want to like like a little more than half of my now playing like is like pretty significantly decayed <laughs> like i'm not really playing it right now yeah uh you know most you of those like if i continue them i would need fresh. to restart them yeah. so i'm going to purge most of my now playing list uh but there are some things that like like bomberman 94 like i you know i need to finish that space oh, you're station do that, like the December. Weren't you gonna do like a Christmas theme for that? Well, I, I, I can, I can still, I can still do it in January. So I'm, I, if if Drum wants to do the, the now playing cleanup tomorrow, I'll try to finish Bomberman Night Four, and then I'll maybe play either Quake or Space Station Silicon Valley, or something like that. Like just try and make some progress in one of those. I, I'm pretty sure I could finish Bomberman because like I'm already on World Five. <laughs> But uh, Space Station Silicon Valley, I've only done about 25% of the levels, so. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I want I want to, I mean, things that, that like, I still am, you know, that, that aren't, like, so far gone that, like, I can't just, like, that I would need to 
restart. Like, I mean, I, I can continue Quake. I can continue Space Station Silicon Valley. I can finish Bottom and I-4. But, like, everything else, I think I'm just going to take off the now plane, and then I'm going to put my the 10 games I picked yeah. on my now plane list. And the, kind of the idea, is, the idea behind that, I think, is, like, try to not add too many now playing games other than those 10 until like until, until I, I start clearing some of them out right yeah 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 because the i it's always nice when you get under 10 now playing because then because you have like the the touch fuzzy icon yeah if you have more than 10 or more now playing and I always, I always feel really like good when that te- that the, the touch fuzzy icon goes away because it's like, oh, I used I used to always be so I used to manage my now playing so much better than I do now. Uh, do you know what game of your ten you're gonna play first? I have no idea at all. Uh, I mean, I've I've had people telling me I should should do Ease Eight. I've had people telling me I should do. Some of the others, uh, you know, someone comment. I, I haven't looked to see if they uh, responded again. Um, uh, someone was was saying like, "Oh, I know you have the PS3 version of Trails of Cold Steel, but like, or the PS3 version, but the digital PS4 version is on sale, and like, you should you should get that." Uh-huh. But they didn't like really elaborate on the reasons, other than like obviously frame rate and and resolution. But like yeah. I was kind of planning to play what I have, but like it's I mean it is on sale, but it's still twenty dollars. I don't know. I kind of just want to play what I have. I think isn't the physical of that like real is more expensive now, right? Yeah, I mean that. I mean I I got the first one around the time that you played it and you played the ps3 version right yeah but you can transfer your save i transferred my save to the ps4 right. but you know i i'm i'm not positive but i i'm under the impression that there is like a a cl- kind of a clean break between two and three where there's no Man. data transfer between those right anyway right i think yes especially i think it's because you know the first two are x seed <laughs> oh, uh, Ur- Urumashi says uh, Trails of Cold Steel PS4 version better resolution frame rate and more voice lines see I don't yeah. it's like more voice lines like that that doesn't yeah that doesn't do a lot for me unless, but it has unless like, but it's, it's nice because it has like the fast forward though too Which, it, you know, unless if you're just doing them it, unless unless the the scenes that aren't voiced like how i i hate i absolutely hate this i think i've talked about this before uh in fact Diofield chronicles was one of the worst examples of, of this although actually a majority of the lines in that game were actually fully voiced but the ones that aren't you know like where you know the lines where you know someone you know they'll 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 they'll, they'll say They'll say like "hello" or something, but like the full line is something else. Like they just have like these things. Like someone will be like, "What?" But then the line actually says like, "Oh, like, oh yeah, just like a single like, word." Like, like, like are, are, are you it. betraying us or something? But the the word that they say isn't actually even in. It's just like a, it's like, like a the, canned canned word. So I know. I, like I, I, I hate that. I hate that. I wish they wouldn't say anything at all. Like I just I hate that. I just hate that. But do you hate it? This this is like the this we, we need to have like a a sound effect that we can play every time that like Try goes into a rant <laughs> about a thing. It's like I hate when they do that. Hades Hades Hot Gun says those are called voice barks. Yeah, I I, I I found I found I found it on. I found it on. I, they called it something else, but I found I found it on TV tropes once. <laughs> so it's like it's like a thing, and I I really don't like that. Like a lot of games do it. I mean, I tolerate it, but I don't like it. Like I just, just I I do not have to hear the character's voice to. I know. So, right? you know, I, 
I I'm okay with reading in video games. Even just the sound effect can be cowabunga every time he goes on a rant. Cowabunga. <laughs> See, I think this is the last level now. What did he say? Why? Like, I, no like I, I would just rather have no voice at all than have yeah. this. But, but like, I, I, I am actually like <laughs> totally okay with, with games not being voiced at all. Like, I... No, it, it, Michael's I workshop's I making a uh, list of things that try hate, so it's like eight by seven, steak in display ports. Steak? I, yeah. I don't hate steak. I don't hate steak. I mean, I, I, I mean, mean, I like steak. I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm a well done man, so I guess in most people's view, that <laughs> means yeah, I you hate are, steak. you are, you are definitely eating steak wrong. <laughs> I, I prefer look, I prefer look, pork. I, I grew up on a farm. I did four I did four H for most of my life. Um, <laughs> you, you know how to do steak. Yeah. I like my it's funny, it's my, 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 my brother's my brother's a farmer, but he likes well well done steaks and I always just kinda pick on him. I'm like, You're a farmer. Aren't you supposed to like actually like <laughs> understand how to cook these things? <laughs> how to cook it? I mean, I, I I like steak. I I just think it's overrated, and I prefer pork chops. Pork chops, pork chops are good. Yeah, my wife made a pork shoulder. Right, is that what we had tonight? Uh, yeah, you had yeah. It's like pork, pork tacos. Pork tacos. Yeah, she used like pork shoulder. But now we can add. Steak. Voice voice barks to it. I mean, I hate that too. <laughs> but like, like I, I feel like in Dio Field, I feel I feel like in Dio Field, they were like more out, like much further removed <laughs> from what the line actually said than in most cases. Like it, it was one of the worst examples of that I've seen. But I, I would say like seventy five percent of the text in the game is I'm actually like dark like that. That's the outside. Like even side quests and stuff. Where are we like Mars? But I, the moon? Yeah, maybe. I think it's uh, yeah. It's, this is how like Ducktales the moon actually is. Yeah. It's like one of my favorite like game songs is. Oh, the moon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean that's that's. That's definitely a common pick for, for, for best NES track. It's up there. I'm just saying you should, you should rewatch Speed Racer. Uh, but yeah, the, I don't ending, know. ending credits in Speed Racer are is like wild. Like I can't even believe it. It's just like the the chimp. It's just like edited like in these random scenes, like doing stuff. Like he's like dressed up like a doctor, in like one scene. And like I I thought about this like while I was watching it. I was like, did they like literally dress up? the the chimp in a doctor's uniform so they could use him in the ending <laughs> credit scene and like the the scene of that happening is literally less than a second and it only is used once uh, like it makes me just wonder how much they shot for this for the for that movie and never used it who directed or only it? used it in what who directed it other oh, wachowski's did yeah it was like a big it was like a big flop i think but i, I mean it's like it has such a unique look to it like it it almost looks like bad but at the same time it looks like amazingly good i watched Encanto at the hollywood bowl Encanto at the what yeah the, you know Encanto the you know the disney movie yeah like uh my daughter eleanor is uh, obsessed with it so they did a live action like sing along at the the hollywood bowl is the the venue in los angeles they did yeah like a, 
They did a whole thing on Disney Plus, so <laughs> that's what we watched. She had a blast. Yeah, I, I, I was pretty, uh, pretty, pretty over that song. The, <laughs> the kids were singing it. Uh, Bruno. Yeah, oh my God, it was like constant. And it's like it's not even good. <laughs> but you were singing it. I wasn't singing it. I bet you. I bet you. Every once in a while, you're like, oh. no, absolutely not. Like, I was like, this is. <laughs> this is like. Imagine Dragon's level of annoying. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, Sandy got. Yeah, she didn't get much. She got. She got a bag of special treats, and she got two toys, a, a reindeer and an avocado. <laughs> now they got a little squirrel with a tail that squeaks. Oh. And it's like really awkwardly when. Like when she carries it around, very awkward. That hole's our way home. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we jump into the TV and that's our way home. I, it makes sense to me. Yeah. Uh, my, my, Michael, Michael's workshop wants you to know that, that Chris's gay room looks way better than Corey's. <laughs> what? Oh, right. Like, Michael's workshop wants wants you to know that, that that Chris's game room looks way better than Corey's. Oh, really? Just like from his background, you mean? Yeah. The ones behind me. It's like it's yeah. You've got like a sparse collection of Famicom cards and Genesis <laughs> games. And Chris has like everything else. That's right. Chris has like the. What is that? Take is pride that in it. Space area? What's the space area thing? I can't tell what that to... space area thing is. Well, what is that? Is it supposed to be a like, regular shredder or like this? Like, is that a round? Some sort of round? Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's the Frisbee. I Someone custom made a, a space harrier disc golf Frisbee for me. Oh, oh it's, it's... I all the all the Frisbee talk that you did on the stream? Yeah, yeah. So that was from the, uh, um, from the Classic Gaming Quarterly Discord uh, Secret Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Someone made that for me. That's amazing. Yeah. You you should you should get it and, and show it close to the camera. I want to see it. I will, and I, let me finish the game here. I'll grab it. You, you like? It looks like you've dedicated an entire shelf. To well, it. I just had a I just had a gap there, so I just I'm just I'm, I'm just I'm just filling my gap with it. Filling the, the gap with it. Oh, there's a, there's a $5 super chat from Robert Hernandez. Thank you. Thank you. Saying, Happy New Year, gents. This game room talk reminds me. What happened to Corey's game room tour video? Uh, it's uh, happening. It's going to happen uh, pretty soon, I think. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good about like a lot yeah. of stuff. I, I mean, I have, I have a, a script that I'm going to revisit. Like at, at last time I looked at it, it was it was 14 pages, and I like I kind of want to cut that down a little bit, uh, or just kind of streamline. But things have been streamlined since then, so I think that uh, like you can count on that like like pretty soon. Like I like a big thing that I want to improve upon is like my writing, and I like I have decided the only way to really improve upon my writing is just to keep on doing it, and my what I have to keep on, I just got to keep on working on scripts, like in, like nonstop. So that is like my big, like my main goal. And the more scripts I make, then the, uh, like the more episodes that come out. So, yeah. so that's good. Cause like the scripts are always, the, is like, it, honestly, the scripts are like my bottleneck in terms of like making but you know, when it, when it comes to something like the games we played, you just make it happen, you know? Right, and that's what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make it happen. So, that is the uh, that's my goal. It's a good goal. Yeah, I mean, so do you want you want to play a different game on the P on Yeah, I mean, can do what do you think? So, go, I, I was, show was gonna play Sackboy. Sackboy a, a, a adventure. It's kind of like <laughs> like Sackboy is from it's like Super Mario Three D World. No. I mean, oh yeah 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 yeah. So the uh, the Sackboy adventure 
is more of like it's like a, it's like a Mario game kind of. Oh, is it? Like Mario 3D World. Okay. Kind of. Um, let's uh, let's back out of here. <laughs> Good. Show, show us the frisbee. Yeah. Hang on. I'll, I'm gonna grab the game, and then I will also uh, grab the frisbee. Well, Mr. Doss thinks well, Corey and Chris should make a podcast together called Dad Talk. The Frisbee <laughs> and Chill Volume 1. The what? Volume 1? The Frisbee and Chill Volume 1. Fr fr frisbee. Can you see it well? I can. I'll get here. It has the Master System box art on it. Very fancy. Yeah, it's cool, I think. Is it made out of? <laughs> what? That's amazing. Yeah, so it's a disc golf disc. So what, what's I feel like if I actually threw difference? this right now, it'd just make so much damage in here. Well, it, it might. Yeah. What's the difference between a disc golf frisbee and a frisbee frisbee? There's like different weights, I think, to them so that they. It's cool though. Uh, it can be like used for, to cover like different distances. So, someone who who understands you very well mm -hmm. made that choice. Well, they had they got information mm. from from me. From you? Yeah, because he had to fill out like a questionnaire. Oh, so the the questionnaire is what 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 do I want to do that that no local dads want to do with me? <laughs> <laughs> Throw a frisbee <laughs> around. Like, like I'm how? Just how is that? How, that. I, like, I just find that a, I, that 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 frisbee chat on the stream was like such a random, such a random thing that came up. That like I feel like that's not something that would have easily emerged. In uh, something new in for twenty twenty three is dad chat. <laughs> dad gaming chat. Corey, My uh, life in frisbees. Corey escaped here for a few minutes. All right. Where did he go? To relieve himself. Ah. Yeah, this this is a pretty good game. I played this uh, in three player with some local friends. I have, I have not played this. Have you played any Little Big Planet mm -hmm. game? I, I like this more because there's no, like, create mode to it. It's just, you know, it's just got the single player levels. I, I This this is probably an unpopular opinion, but I, I kind of had more fun with it than Super Mario 3D World. Oh, really? Yeah, like, the, like, Super Mario 3D World was really well loved, but I, I don't know, like, something about it, like, I just didn't like it as much as some of the other 3D Mario games. Like, I, I guess it's better than Mario Sunshine, but I, I it's, it's got really good music. Um, I mean, it's it's fun, but I, 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 I like it. I like it, but to be honest, when, when it came out on Switch, like, I was actually kind of excited about that because when I initially played it uh, on Wii U, I did a stream and it was four players, mm. which was fun, but very chaotic. And I felt like I didn't really remember anything about the game because of how chaotic that experience was. And I, I was looking forward to like, like, Oh, well, when it comes out on switch, that'll be a good excuse to just like play through the game by myself. And I feel like I will remember the levels and stuff a little better. Like, instead of just remembering like a lot of fun and a lot of laughing, but it was just chaos. Like the game itself, I didn't remember much about, but like I, I got, I got bored with it. I never, I never finished replaying that on switch. But what I did finish was um, Bowser's fury, which was like the like little four ish, four or five hour game, uh, original game that's in it. That was great. I, I, I actually enjoy this because, again, like we're gonna like go, I said, we're going to go back to the first level. Where are we so going? Oh. We're going to go to the first level. Because I'm such a novice. Um, well, no, it's just a good way. No, to... that's completely true. Um, how, can, 
No, I, I don't get a chance to like. Like Mickey World, I, I just don't get a chance to play like a lot of games like these. Like I, I could, but I'm like I just, like I feel like I just don't. So oh, you can pick whoever. Yeah. Oh, I want Banana Guy. <laughs> uh, but it's kind of fun because it's the like Man. it's like <laughs> get to actually try something a little bit different. What? Oh, this? Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, I like my time spent in general, like playing games nowadays, is just effectively, uh, you know, like I, your I, game I would like the, think the, I would the ever big play marquee games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of fun. But no, Hadori Hanzo Kirby was way better than 3D World. I don't, I don't know what it is. So, something about 3D World, just like I don't know, just played it by myself anyway. Like. I, I thought I might actually like it better, but like it it just kind of makes me sleepy. This, this like, this like, is there an American sack boy that looks angry? Like, <laughs> or... oh yeah, I mean, was it you hit the D pad in different directions? I think yeah, you, you can make, change like, your different faces. Yeah, and you like no 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 no. Oh, like the fonts. <laughs> yeah, if you hold, I think if you hold one of the shoulder buttons, you can like emote your arms and you can like slap each other which is really fun to do on the oh, yeah uh, the, uh, the uh, l2 yeah on the at the end of the levels <laughs> yeah this this is a really good little Wait, game are you nate yeah i uh, so circle like dives i guess so just hit the buttons yeah okay Gotcha. Ha -ha. Uh, have you uh, have you tried um, the Uncharted uh, collection on your PS5 yet? No, I, actually, I did. I booted up and got like all the trophies from the game. Wait, what? <laughs> well, it, it carries over. It gets like it has a new trophy set. They're the same trophies. So if you have PS4 saves, uh, it'll give you all those um the trophies again really? do you have to load do you have to load the actual game because i never yeah. went past the final screen yes okay because it, i was really annoyed because uh for some reason uh -huh. i um i i when i when i tested it i wanted to try out like the different video modes and my my PS4 or PS5 would not go into 120 hertz mode, but my Series X will, and it's routed like the exact same way. Oh, but like the PS5 is just like, nah, you can't do it. But I think there must be the cable that's going out of my PS5 maybe is is not sufficient. So I, I bought another, but I haven't gotten around to hooking it up yet. I might do that. I might try that tomorrow. But like, I was so annoyed with that. I never even, I never even actually went into the game, uh, because I, I was like, well, the main the whole reason I even booted this up was I wanted to check out the video. Wait, I can put this in, like the full line. Put this, this, yeah. Put it in the plant. To... I think. Can you use? There's a button. Oh, you can use. Uh... Yeah, carry. Put it in the plant. Is this like an alter, alternate universe where like it's like it's Super Monkey Ball, but the bananas actually you get to play as them? No, like, like, everything is like, uh, just like tiny. It's like all made out of crafts and stuff. Oh, we can do I like more. asking you ridiculous questions and you still give me a serious. <laughs> like, what? If, if, if you've never played one before, I don't know if you've like, have played one before. What? Super Monkey Ball? No, no. Uh, uh, Little Big Planet. Oh, no. Yeah. Wait, how do you pick him up? Uh, use R2 to grab. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Isushin said, when comparing Mario 3 and Mario World, which is generally considered the better game? And Mr. Dot says, everyone seems to like Super Mario Brothers 3 more, but I prefer Super Mario World. I, see, I feel the opposite, and maybe that's... Maybe Super Mario World fans... I mean, I'm a Super Mario World fan, don't get me wrong, but I, I do prefer Mario 3. But maybe, maybe people who prefer Mario 3 feels like everyone prefers Mario... Or, or, Maybe people who prefer Mario World think everyone prefers Mario 3. 
Because I feel like everyone prefers Mario World as a Mario 3 guy. <laughs> so, or I, I, the <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. It, it, it always seems like Mario yeah, World's the favorite, but like... Like that early like Super really Nintendo really style, yeah. like just the visual style, I always thought was a little, little off brand. Like there's something a little weird about the look of Super Mario World. I, 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 I have obviously grown used to the look of Super Mario World. There's a lot of things I like about the look <laughs> of it. But I, like I always felt like the sprite designs were a slight step back from this Mario 3. You got, you got a big a big smile on your face for you know it, it's, you it's remind cool. me like, oh well, i'm sorry it's american am i supposed to have a frown no 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 <laughs> I, 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 I think it's cool that uh you know it's like it's dumb you know, fun so, something that you haven't played before it's like oh you know like, this is like it's, it's bringing you a lot of joy yeah because that's i mean that's exactly what uh like i guess the, these games are good at doing it is like you know it's a, it's just a feel good yeah but I, I feel like I overall prefer the level design Mario 3 and much prefer the power-ups. I mean, Mario 3 or Mario World, like, I mean, it's got two power-ups, basically, aside from the star and, and the mushroom. You've just got Fire Flower and the cape and and Yoshi, but... Corey, fix your microphone. Know. What's going on with it? Well, apparently you're quieter. Oh, I'm not, I wasn't, just wasn't. Oh, I'm, I'm quiet now? Yeah. Quieter now. after coming back from the bathroom. I don't know how. I just I don't think I'm talking very loud. Am I, am I, am I better now? I mean, I should be now. I can't. Well, I mean, I, you, seem, you seem fine to me. I, I, I can I, hear you. I just I don't think I was You're just talking for me. very loud. Yeah, apparently the PC version of this is like really bad because it's just like constant shader compilation stutter. <laughs> so I didn't even realize that that's like been such a big issue for PC games. Oh yeah, like like that is basically the only thing that Alex on Digital Foundry talks about like in the past year. Did, did it just become a I an issue, I'm like unclear, in, I'm like, unclear but it's it's almost always an Unreal Engine thing. And the thing is like <clears throat> you know, because consoles are a fixed platforms, shader compilation is part of the the build process. Right, right. So, but with with PCs, there's so many different GPUs that you know the user compiles the shaders. But, uh, but like I don't know. It's like apparently just been this like. It must have been an issue before, but Hold it's on, uh, our our L two. You can it just seems move your hands around and use the analog sticks. So I'm just gonna take a photo of us. Yeah, it, it, I mean it's hopefully it'll get better with the with the attention that they're they're drawing to it. But it sounds it it, it basically sounds like if, even if you have like the best PC in existence, you're still better off playing like the PS5 or Series X version of of a, any Unreal games is is the impression I get. This is a good Mighty Mighty Boss on song. <laughs> it, I I will say it, which this is an Unreal Engine game, which I did not realize when I played it. Oh, and um, yeah. I had no Aloy, idea. Aloy, yeah, huh? yeah. Oh, that that game's fantastic. Did you play the second one? Yeah. I, that's why you got the PS, PS5, right? Uh, I mean, that was like the reason you really wanted to get one. The, the, it was the same reason I got my original PlayStation was Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> oh, oh, you got you got the PS. Well, uh, well, I mean, I got a PS5 because I really wanted one, anyways. Right. Um, but you wanted. But like, yeah, Horizon was great. I mean, yeah, there's like, there's a lot of different things. Like, it's just kind of like. My, my cup of tea, is really yeah. what it is. Like God of War. I, I, I played. I played the first Horizon. This Horizon's year. great. Like, I, it, yeah, I, I, I really liked it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not too hot on a lot of open world games, but that that was one of the better ones to me. I, I, re, I really liked it, and I'm, I'm looking forward to playing the second one. But I, 
I did not get to it last year, even though I kind of wanted to. Yeah, it was really I'll, good. I'll try to prioritize it this year. Whoa. Oh, we got a... Uh... <clears throat> Oh wait, there's there's a there's a couple just now actually. Um, there was a five dollars super chat from 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 Nana Cheesecake. Oh, I, it's always just such a fun fun thing to say, Nana Cheesecake. <laughs> yeah, another happy happy Sunday and New Year. <laughs> happy Sunday and happy New Year to you as well. Thank you. And also. Just a five dollar from from Mega XX saying Happy New Year. Thank you, thank you. I mean, you can start putting the you know super chats in there and just ask questions about Corey from a long time ago, and I'll just answer whatever questions you want. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, people people aren't aren't uh, aren't utilizing this this source of. <laughs> I, I, said, I said that, I said that, er, I said that earlier to, to Aria and she, she, she wanted to pay me. She wanted to pay me to learn secrets about her dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it's not going to be worth. I was like, anything. yeah, we're not, we're not going to go there. That, 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 that reminds me of uh, yeah, be <laughs> a backloggery stream from, uh, huh, I think it was, I think it was in 20. 21 actually where one of my fir very first internet friends uh from like way way back um did a backloggery stream directorship and you know we don't we don't we don't talk uh as as often as we did back in the 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 AOL instant messenger days, uh, but you know he'll he'll like send me a message on like uh, on uh, on on through through like the PlayStation Network every now and then, and we'll we'll we'll, we'll chat. And um, I mean we we had a great time. He had he had me play Sekiro, which I intended to continue and then never did. Um, I would need to restart it at this point. Uh, but we, we had a really good time just just talking, and I think it was it was kind of funny because like I've known him long like longer than I've known Drum, and so it was it was funny like talking about like our you know all our old stories uh, about you know the things we used to chat about and stuff, and it was just kind of it was kind of funny like you know being around you know these internet friends that I'm around all the time, like talking to an internet friend that I knew way longer ago. But I, I, I remember, uh, I, th I yeah. think it was, I think it was Sefi who said, uh, who said, uh, th thanks for adding to the try lore. <laughs> <laughs> get, get a little more of that deeper backstory. <laughs> I, I, I will say if, uh, in, in 2022, tw like the one thing that was nice was uh, randomly, I long time ago, I, I played a lot of uh, EverQuest. Um, and, uh, like some of my old, like, uh, guild mates, um, like just made a discord just for all of us to catch up on. Oh, nice. Which was like, I, you know, people I haven't talked to in like, I, I, I don't even know how long, like a yeah. really long time. That's, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I wish, I wish I had, uh, contact with, you know, some of my old Final Fantasy 11 crew. Uh, I mean, like, I mean, I do still have contact with, uh, well, I mean, some of them I haven't talked to in, 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 as recently as I would have liked to, but like the, like my second Final Fantasy XI group, I mean, that was backloggery people, but like, I'm talking about like the old, like back in, you know, 20, uh, two, 2004, 2005 Final Fantasy XI crew I have, I have no idea where, where, Ooh, you got some Yeti. Where any of them would be. Uh, but uh, yeah, that would be interesting to reconnect with yeah. some of them. I mean, one one of them was a, you know, a, a friend from from re from real life as well. So, I mean, I, you know, I I see him on the backloggery streams every week, but <laughs> that, That's that's a pretty good Santa, really. Yeah. 
if, if you do the uh you know, like, know, I mean, just, like, speaking to, like, of the stutters and stuff yeah why not if you do the the zoom zoom uh shop uh uh like I, I don't know if it's this way in single player but in, in at least in three player multiplayer it's like it, it it like stutters constantly oh really yeah on ps5 it's really weird i don't know if it's maybe it's been fixed but i mean the game had been out for wait this game yeah yeah it it been out for months and I don't, I don't know if it's been fixed or not, but at least in three player mode, it was just like stuttering and lagging all, all over the place when you get not, not like where you're choosing your thing now, but if you like go to the shop where you can actually buy stuff. Oh, we I did that okay. Yeah. Okay. So frequently. not during gameplay, but just during the zoom, zoom. Huh. During the zoom, zoom in, in, in that, in that, yeah. uh, in that, in the, the, the purple circus tent. I see. Yeah, it was it was really strange. Uh, I don't because you just wouldn't expect that on PS5 with like the SSDs and stuff. But maybe it was maybe it was more complex being in three player. I don't I don't know if it would do it in one player or not. Each world in this game is like actually like I, I'm actually surprised <laughs> you already had the first world beaten because. Uh, I mean, each, each world was pretty beefy for us. Yeah, I, 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 I thought you hadn't played much of it yet, but I, I every world is Monty really long. Bit. But I'm on the second. Am I? Am I I'm pretty far. Well, I mean, I don't know. There's like biz, biz, four biz, or five biz. worlds, I think, and then there's like a there's like a post game ah. world too. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's uh oh okay chris is the b <laughs> oh, buzz 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 okay. smack can you jump on oh yeah you can hang on nice <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it seems like it's it's kind of a long, a longer game, right? I I was I was surprised. I mean, it just uh, it's it is it is not insubstantial. How'd you? Oh oh. I mean, it took us I don't know, probably three streams. I would guess. Oh, what'd you get a trophy for? I think you're getting them. Haha. <laughs> but it's this. Yeah. Buzz buzz buzz. Oh man. Oh, uh, I, I I apologize for this. We we, we got we got distracted. I, I did see this. Uh, there was uh, six minutes ago. There was a twenty dollars super chat from Ryan. Oh, thank you. Cool. Saying uh, save states for pocket SNES core possible. Do you think? Happy New Year, gents. Thank you for being an inspiration in your content and talents. Nothing out there as polished as yours. <laughs> well, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We, um, you know, I mean, I don't know. The, the last possible. couple of videos actually came together in a pretty short period of time, so it's, it's good to hear that they they came across as polished. Um, oh, oh yeah, this is the level where you have the honey. Yeah, you actually picked the perfect costume for this level. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm the honey um, that Cheerios be. <laughs> uh, uh, safe thing. I don't know. You know, I. I, I, I I, I've been wondering if any, if anyone's going to call it out because when I when I show my analog pocket, I was I'm just like musing whether like, hey maybe I'll play some Bomberman I four on the analog pocket because I like kept jumping back and forth between original hardware and Mister, and but like you can see that like the the memories and and other things are like grayed out on it, so like it's obvious that I've like still not updated it for the open FPGA stuff because I just haven't made the time to, to do it i need to i really need to but uh i, I want to but uh you, you know <laughs> I, I hadn't had it updated I stop trying to kill yeah things. i mean I, but yeah I, I actually don't know that much about it have, have they have Sorry. they implemented safe states into any of the other open fpga cores uh i don't think so i think you jump on those things oh they're like those are the goombas oh, okay 
There we go. Perfect. Thank you, Nintendo tip line. <laughs> I definitely called that thing a few times back in the day. <laughs> How do I beat bad dudes? I, uh... I, I, I want to, I, I like, I don't even know why I oh, sorry. even began to think that this was something that, that like would have an answer, <laughs> let alone an answer that be, could be given over the phone. But like, I, I actually called for like some, something else, but then I also like randomly asked, how do you get a hole in one on every course in Kirby's dream course? <laughs> it's like, how do you even give an answer to that? You can't. Yeah. I don't even, for one, I don't even know if it's possible. <laughs> it's like, how, what? Open up the zipper. Boop. Someone says, yes, safe states on new core. So, or, or, or on new core. So, so, Corey, do, do you know, like, are, are there, like, a, a lot of core, a lot, open oh. FPGA cores with safe states on Mr.? Or not Mr.? No, uh, I mean, I. I You have to, like, get the, yeah, yeah, I got it. Get it. Nice to Uh, I mean, I don't think, whoops. I, I wonder if it's going to have to be, uh, if you're talking about, like, the memories aspect, like, I don't know if that can be implemented or not. I mean, I'm, I'm, and... I'm certainly not, like, I don't understand how it works, but... I would hope that you could make memories for, uh, you know, like the that open FPGA stuff. Okay, J Jared says that the NES core does have. Okay. Safety. Okay. I mean, so I, I know that. Like the, I was talking about the memories, like which is like the built-in save state stuff that you can use with cartridges. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know that. Um, I'm drawing a blank on his name. Um, is, is, is it, is it, is it, um, what's his name? Um, the, the guy that does the SNES core, like he always makes save states in his core. Cause it's just like part of his process. Mama monkey. Uh, save state. Robert, I think. Oh, it does it doing the PlayStation one. You mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same guy. Same guy, I'm pretty sure, that does PlayStation and Super Nintendo, yeah? Yeah. There you go. And GBA and Wonderswan and Lynx, I think. But I, I don't I don't know. I I, I I have not paid as close attention uh, as I should like to know if like are those same developers from Mr. the ones making the no, same console? No, and a lot of times on... like I'll I are they bait? Are they bait? Are a lot of them based on some of the Mr. Work though? Uh, I think some of it is. I mean, but I mean, certainly, I, like, I don't know. The... Like, I don't. I have not been following like the actual full on development. Like, I no. update mine all the time, and I I watch in the uh, the classic games Discord for people talking about it and to see what kind of what updates uh, are coming out. But I'm not following too closely like who's like, like if these, if they're based mm -hmm. on anything. Yeah. I mean, I, I have to be honest. I mean, even on Mister, I mean, you know, I've, I've used it a lot this year, but uh, a after the episode, I have not paid mu that much attention to like developments as I, as I, I, as I, I should. On Mister, too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I mean, I just haven't been following like. I get. Why? Well, I mean, oh, tell you about the, I mean, yeah. the stuff that's on the. Uh... <sighs> Like the PlayStation core just like keeps on getting better and better. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, I mean you've shown me things here and there, but like I felt like at the time oh, I had a pretty dad. comprehensive if I get to the checkpoint understanding in my head of like Oh okay. Oh did you unplug it? Okay. Cool. I, I, I felt like I got a pretty comprehensive understanding of everything going on in Mr. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At the time we did the video, and then afterward, like I kind of, I kind of checked out in some ways because I guess just because we were so overwhelmed after that video because it was, it was, it was a monster. I mean, it yeah. was. 
partly responsible for 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 the lack of other videos this year. Uh, in some ways, I guess. But um, um <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, I mean, but I have used the Mister a lot, but mostly I've like, you know, I'll, I'll do the update. And, you know, I'll just use something I already know that it does, or I'll look in the arcade cores and see if there's something that I wanted to play on it, you know, but I've not like been paying attention to, I guess, information channels yeah. as much I'll as I the, could. I'll move my microphone closer to me, see if I move it closer to my mouth. And I feel like I am getting kind of stuffy. Like, I don't, I don't mean to, it just seems like it's kind of progressing. Hopefully it's a good night's sleep will clear me up. I mean, like I say, I've 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 been stuffy this month, off, yeah. off and on too. But I I don't think I've been sick. No, I'm not. I like I feel fine. It's just it might be developing a little stuffy nose. Mm, Mr. Dew says Corey should eat another chip to clear up those sinus. <laughs> Pee out of my butt afterwards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how does what happened the next day. <laughs> well, he's giving us all the details. Then. I mean, but you know, I mean, that is that's that is what happens when you know. when you eat such things. This is what you get when it's uh, late night. <laughs> yeah, late night stream chat. Well, this is you know, this is what you can expect with a with a New Year's Day live stream. <laughs> Who might be in this time? You you have like a bunch more like costumes already load onto your. Oh, because I mean, I there there's like so many free ones. Oh, you you have to like go to the the PlayStation Store to get them. Well, they just show up like below the game. Oh okay. Oh, you mean like it's... you can like navigate to them straight from the game thing on the dashboard? Yes. All right. You're what? Oh, a dinosaur. Yeah, it looks awesome. Look at him. What am I, the Witch King? It's out of, is that? Yeah, it kind of does look like the Witch King, doesn't it? Well, it's like I I I had a I had, I made a costume that had like a they have like there's there's a head that you can get in the oh. game that's like a it's like a, a kitty CRT like it's. It's like it's it's a CRT, but it's it's got it's got kitty ears. <laughs> oh wow! Really? It's, yeah, it's great. It's like the witch. King it's got like a little like from a... pixel face on it. It's amazing. Huh? There's like some levels where have like a it's like a machine gun type thing, and it makes sure the controller shake. Very, oh, very yeah. satisfying. Uh, you know, playing Returnal, which uses the uh, the Dual Sense uh, Rumble, uh, like pretty effectively, it makes me realize just like how few games actually really use it. Well, I mean, to be to be fair, like I have not yeah, exactly yeah. been playing yeah, like off. a lot of like new first party Sony stuff lately either. So. Yeah. Uh, or or really like I, I, I this was not a big PS5 year for me. No, at it's all. like when I get to a, a checkpoint, you respawn yeah. automatically. Like in fact, I feel like in the games we played, like I had a I had a a lot more like much older games in it this year than in other years. Uh, like this was just not this year. This was probably like the fewest like new release games that i that i've played in a year since oh like, yeah yeah i don't know nine ninety five <laughs> <laughs> oh i died too no like i just like like switch had some some <laughs> oh, excuse I me did play this year. like i played um like Kirby and I played Xenoblade 3. 
I played Live Alive, Live Alive, however you say it. <laughs> however you say it. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't even know how to say it, but I'm not gonna, I can't stop saying it or however you say it. Like, I feel like it's got, it has to accompany. Well, I mean, that was, I very intentionally, I mean, I, I made it a point to not say the game's name in the video without, without, without also saying, or saying however you say however it. You, or however you say it. That was, that was very intentional. Water clock. Yeah, the WC. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Do it. Get it. You got it. Nice. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There you go. All right, here we go. You can play this game. Four players, though. Oh, can you? Yeah. And do I know four people? <laughs> you know four people that you'd want to play? Do I know four people? <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe. Oh, wow. We got a notification that Gaming Blows has been a member for 27 months in a row. 27? Thank okay. you. Saying, uh, Happy Hello? New Year, gentlemen. Your channel is a comfortable constant in a very inconsistent world. To another <laughs> successful one for you both. Well, at least as as you point out in the video, uh, our 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 inconsistency on regular episodes did not apply to our to our did stream. not carry over to the stream. We we always we always we, we're we're pretty consistent here. No, we can't go this way anymore. We just gotta go back this way then. Yeah, we gotta find those keys. We gotta we find those go back keys. This, go yeah. back this way. Yeah, but I mean, I, I feel good about being more consistent, like in terms of, you know, videos. But I, but I just said, you know, like as I was saying earlier, oh, I, think, I just gotta, wait, I just gotta just like work on my writing. Like I gotta write more, and uh, if I write more consistently, then that means uh, episodes themselves will be more way. consistent. That's you're that's looking that. for you're looking for five keys, so you you're yeah. you're kind of exploring a little more in this level. Oh, we got. Um, oh, hey, Sefi, Sefi is is this way to your left. Is is back? I think Sefi said at the beginning of the stream, like, "Oh, the year ends video is out. I'm going to go watch that." So I guess I guess it's been <laughs> I guess it has been about two hours since the stream started. That's so <laughs> that that adds up. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I, I am also glad I was able to squeeze the in the movies. Guigi can do anything. <laughs> that was the the whole joke of that was so to, to explain. Uh, yeah, there was of that key. There was this part of Luigi's Mansion Three where, um, this part where it was it was like in a movie production production studio. And like you had, there were like these different sets. And if you looked through the camera, like it was, it like actually had like the special yeah, effects and, huh? and there were things going it. on oh, I'm get warped, yeah. that you didn't uh, see in the, in the scene. And, um, it, if All right, now we can like Guigi normally cannot climb a ladder because he just like moves through it. Um, <laughs> uh, but so you, you can play that whole game co-op though yeah it, it was it was a great experience huh i mean you know it's it's uh i i believe unless this has changed it over uh, over the past several months zane's dad said it's zane's favorite game <laughs> so maybe maybe one of your kids would like it that's yeah it's a good idea I mean, it's 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 really it's really great co-op and Guigi, like he has some limitations. Like like I say, he can't climb ladders. And the whole joke was, well, in the in the movie setting, he actually could climb the ladder. So he's like, oh, in the movies, Guigi could do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't die. I try not to. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was Luigi's Mansion Three was was a really great co-op experience. Huh. It, uh, 
very well designed go although i i should point out it's like at least an hour before you before you can use guiji oh really yeah it's uh. it's 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 a it's a shockingly long build up uh. before you actually get your co-op partner <laughs> but from that point from that point on though it's 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 100 co-op uh, i saw um uh pressure morgan ask earlier what was the last magfest we went to i believe it was the one that david wise was at whatever year that was that was probably, I would guess. That was the last Magfest we went to. Yeah, and I would we say were that like, we want. We had an opportunity to maybe interview him, but we like we're, we're trying, we're trailing him around the whole place. I know it. Oh, that was it. Was probably I would guess that was probably 2015. If if I had my best okay. guess, I would say that was likely 2015, 2015 or 16. I bet. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay at a dragon. Or well, I think th this guy has to be like the king of the those things from Princess Mononoke, right? <laughs> no, no. I mean, that would get in trouble if they did that. But I wonder if it's like a oh, be another dinosaur. <laughs> Heck yeah. Um. Yeah. It, it it was the year that David <laughs> was that the time right? we were like we were trailing him and we were trying to because we had an opportunity to interview him and we but we couldn't find him and he was like. Like drunk or something like that. He's going. And we went to that one room to find him. We like we heard he's here, and like we walked in, and he wasn't there. But they just had Donkey Kong Country like on. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently he was just there. Yeah, of course and he like, was. But I think it's really funny that like you know they were. They had David Wise in there. <laughs> oh. And like, of course they're gonna, you know, it's like, let's just put it I on talk, some flavor in the background. I talked to him on the phone. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, it was, it was so <laughs> unexpected. <laughs> That's right, I forgot you talked to him on the phone. <laughs> David Wise is the composer for Donkey Kong Country. And did the Donkey Kong Country. And like, I believe all of Rare Rare's NES soundtracks. <laughs> Yeah, I, and, and so <laughs> it, it, it makes no sense, really. But I just it's, think it's really funny that that's like <laughs> that's my David Wise story. Yeah, that we couldn't find. You talked on the phone, and we couldn't find him. And then like, everywhere we went, there were signs that he was there, but was no longer there. <laughs> <laughs> and then remember, we were with uh, the lady from the Magfest organizers. Yeah, and like. We like saw him like we think we saw him like that. We were like on the far end of like a hotel, a long hotel corridor. And she's like, Was that him? I think that was him. And then we like, we ran like ran down down the hall. Down. <laughs> we couldn't get him. <laughs> <laughs> it is so stupid when you think about it. But, but it's, like, it's we very were funny. Like, because I had talked to the Magfest lady. And she, she said like she was supposed to meet with him at like a certain time, and so she like you know give her my number so that so that you know she could call oh, when make your you gotta do your pose. Uh, so when that happened, I thought like I I, I had like kind of given up hope. I'm like, man, <laughs> this isn't this isn't gonna happen. And uh, and though, then oh, so yeah, we yeah. went to the hotel across the street and we're playing like like Jackbox games with a bunch of the backloggery people, yeah, in their cool. room. And then like I I get a phone call and like it's her and she like gives the phone to David Wise and he's like he's like he, he goes hello Mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's like wow David Wise said my name okay. He was like you want to talk about battle odes? <laughs> then I know, then I never talk to him again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean because like I had to go back to the room or I had to go back to the hotel. I had to go up to, you know, I don't know, the 11th floor or whatever, <laughs> which in Magfest it takes forever to get into the elevator because yeah, it's stopping at every floor. And so it took it took a 
good while. And I think I, I made that known that it's going to take a while for me to go get my camera and stuff. Oh, and then we went all over like this adventure for like two hours trying to find him. <laughs> but I, I, I very briefly talked to David Wise on the phone. <laughs> But yeah, my, my, my favorite thing that, that I always remember from uh I think I grab on it. My, my my favorite thing I always remember from his uh panel that he did at Magfest was was every time he said battle toads, he, he dropped all of the T's, every single one. And it was it was all it was all it was all always bottle odes. <laughs> B bottle odes. <laughs> Which I, I I know people get on my case for saying oh, file let's, let's fantasy let's and let's grab, in let's uh, the in the that's exactly in the um in the digital foundry videos, <laughs> which I, I was glad to see that the Final Fantasy Thirteen Part Two uh came out the same day as over our there. end of the year video. Uh, that's right. Because uh, I say in the video, I said, so hopefully any BF fans will have seen this by now. Oh, you have to put all of the uh, little babies in the thing. Look at the little yeah, babies. There's a little guy hey down there, here. baby. There's a little guy down here. Oh, let's put the babies in here. Yeah, Get toss, in there, baby. Toss a baby. Hello there, baby. Uh, fall, see, this is, fall fancy. This is part of dad chat. This is like, yeah. this is how you actually it's properly you the toss thing a baby. Is, like, yes. Very, very, very much so. But that's more like what I, how I talk to my, my dog. <laughs> the other way. I'm always like, hi the baby. Give me your baby. <laughs> that's how I talk to my dad. My, my dog. Not my dad. My dog. I'm like, hi baby. Your, it's possibly how you talk to your dad as well. Yeah. I'm like, hi the baby. Come here, the ba Come here baby. <laughs> she loves it when I talk to her like that. She'll like jump up and like give me kisses and stuff. something about I just it never I, I thought you were just always going to be a permanent cat person well never i mean really a pi picture my, of you with my dog. dog basically is very cat like mm. in, in size at least it's the pot in shed oh wait is is the rpg technician here someone someone we know from from the backloggery room hmm? that we were playing jackbox games in <laughs> What are we doing here? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. Smack something. Oh, it's gonna be whack-a-mole. Whack-a-mole! Yes! Get that guy. Whack them all. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, oh, it's Ash. Good to see you in here. Yes, I, 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 I left. I left the the Jackbox party room on a futile quest to interview David Wise. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to him on the phone right outside that room. That was just the question oh. thing. <laughs> I could have got him to say bottle odes on camera. Yep. It's it's kind of amazing how long, long ago that was now though. What year again was it? <laughs> I it was like was it it wasn't it had to have been fifteen or sixteen. There's no way we it, it was has it been that long? It was 2000, uh, 2016 is like when I moved out of New York City. Yeah, what? I, moved, I moved 2015. Yeah, you were, you were a year before me. I, I, it was probably... Um, it was probably the year there. after we interviewed HD Retrovision, I would guess. Yeah. Or That's it was what the I same year. Because it couldn't have been. Cause, well, it was, because that was when your son was born. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Uh, so... Our video on that was seven years ago. That was released. So it would yeah. have been the year after that. But why do we have the that? Was that was released. Uh, when was it? When was this published? <laughs> uh, 2015. Wait, 
So it was probably 2016. It was probably 2016. Oh, I bet you if we do what we need to do here, it'll make that come down. It's a cube from like Hellraiser. <laughs> oh, I bet it's this way. There we go. I'm gonna go for it, okay? Okay. I don't wanna get eaten. Oh wow, this, this episode is so old that we've got the Punk Effect logo on it. <laughs> oh. Wow, I mean, then, that, then here, here's, here's me doing this stand-up at MAGFest. Now, remember how hard that was? I mean, I feel like that'd still be tough. Well, yeah. Like it's it's Whoa. weird looking at this. I'm like, wow, like I, I look I actually look younger there. <laughs> like I don't like I always feel like I don't age much, but I'm like, oh look at that. I I, I don't look as old as I do today. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was uh two dollars from Demo Kirby saying new Corey was gonna go full doggo dad. <laughs> I think like, like you... another thing before that, just as just as a what? Oh no, I'm talking. I think there was you, you, like a message or something like that. Someone had been a. I saw something. Someone had been a uh, member for so. Oh, time. oh wait, I, I, oh yes, yes, yes. I, I'm sorry, I over. Oh, and then there was a, a no message. Uh, two dollars super chat from Warren Hokey. I, I apologize about that. And also a notification that Shadow Mask has been a member for 19 months in a row. Dang! Thank you. I uh, saying, oh, 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 here, here we go, here we go. Say, what's something Corey and Chris got in trouble doing as kids? Oh gosh, it has to be something you did together. What is something we got? Pro with? Probably underage drinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you did, you did, you you got caught. You did get in trouble. Uh, I well, I don't know if you were there at the time when the police came, and I like. Got, <laughs> okay. I, well, I had the. <laughs> I think you were in Buffalo at the time. No, no, well, no, no, this is like, we were in high school. It's like, oh. and like, we had to uh, run and we were like, like, so like where, where our elementary school was, uh, it was no longer an elementary school after a point and we had to, uh, we used to go behind like the baseball field up there in the woods and like drink. And when you were in elementary school, no, no, or? no, By, it was like, it was, it was a, 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 a former elementary, school. very rural town. And, uh, we like one time the cops came and we like all ran and everyone ran into the fields and stuff. And I remember I was, I was 16. Oh, because, I do remember that. Yeah. And I remember like hiding out all night. And then I walked to my high school cause I had driver's ed that morning. Did, so did I was like, I was up, like hiding out up, in the field. Did they walk up in the field? Yeah. Well, yeah, like, I remember. I think they walked past. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> but then I, I had to go to driver's ed, and I was just like filthy <laughs> <laughs> from being being in the hiding out in the field all night. I, I, the one that came to mind was not where we got in trouble, but <laughs> when uh, Matt and Justin both got arrested. <laughs> Oh geez, and I mean, because <laughs> Matt got really—I uh, I, I won't tell the whole story, but the one funny part was. Uh, well, people will know Matt because uh, Matt, like people know Matt. Oh, does here from because the from the from the music. <laughs> Just, he got he he told the told the officer he, he had like a bazooka in his pocket or something like that. In his trunk, I think he said he had something. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He was like he was, he was like, like trying like to be like for joking some, around. <laughs> yeah. They, they they definitely spent the night in jail. Yeah. Which is... It, was, it wasn't me. <laughs> just, just so you know. Yeah, but th that night also I had to go back to Justin's house and like wake up his dad at like 4 in the morning and be like, your son's got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I mean, I don't think we really got in trouble. Yeah. For no. I remember. I don't know. We were... We, we, were, we were good. Yeah. We were yeah. <laughs> they were too scared. <laughs> you know? I think that was probably the closest. The only, I no, totally forgot about that. Like, the only time that we came close to getting in trouble. I mean, there was times where we got came close, but we didn't. Oh, this is awesome. 
Oh, I thought. Did the game. Did the game crash? Uh. <laughs> oh, my favorite level what? right here. Yeah. Can you exit to the world map? Yeah. Let's try that again. I'm going bananas. Let's see, if, please work this time. I think we're good now. That's yeah, weird, so didn't didn't like we said uh, maybe they knew that Corey was gonna go full doggo dad. I mean, you 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 were very very nervous about getting a dog. Yeah, well, I just didn't. And now you're like way into it. <laughs> Well, I mean, because like, <coughs> like the dog that we have is, the, right dog is the perfect you. dog for us. Yeah. Or for me specifically. I mean, it's 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 a dog that feels just, very much like a uh, permanently a cat. Like, can you stop going? I can't. I can't stop it. It's no. But I mean, you're like you're going over all the. You're going like over all the. Um, oh, I, we don't have the honey on us. I switch it. Oh, you have honey on you. Do you not so both sweet. have it? Yeah, I must have. Huh. Been, I must not have stepped in it. <coughs> oh, we got. Uh, oh, you got it though. So you can go down and get uh, some stuff. Though. We got a five pounds from from Richard Doder, the Suspedis. <laughs> Don't know how to say that, but thank you. Say it, uh, happy new year. Love the channel, love the streams. Question for try Are you happy with the C1 in game mode for SDR? I find it too dim. Um, I, I am. I, I, it, it felt not as bright to me. I mean, it depends on, I would say, if you're going from a older OLED, because I did feel that way, kind of when I was going off the C7, because like I showed in the video, like you can make the C7 go way brighter uh, in SDR mode. I don't think game mode is necessarily any darker though than any oh, other mode, but I'm, I actually tested almost nothing not in game mode. Um, so I don't actually know. Um, but no, I don't think it's too dim at all. I mean, I, I mean, to be honest, like I usually have like a single lamp on in the room when I play and when I play more cinematic games, I often play with the lights off. Like I, I personally feel that OLED is, is quite satisfactorily bright for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't quit. oh, oh, I can, oh, go through. I forgot how I could do that. Clearly. Oh, was oh. Yeah, I forgot to um, do the roll. Oh, you have to roll into those. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I I think uh, it's bright enough, but there's, you know, there's definitely, you know, that's the whole reason why things like the RetroTink 5X and the Miss, I think the Mister's done too, where they, um, they can like trigger the TV's HDR flag. So that it goes into HDR mode, and that way you can just get a brighter picture, um, because the TV limits how bright it can get when you're not in HDR mode, which can be very helpful if you want to use scan lines or black frame insertion. Um, that does help counteract the darkening effect of that. Um, so. But I, I I find it to be bright enough. I mean, you know what's funny is I, <laughs> after getting the C1, I mean, aside from just like doing the odd thing here or there, like maybe for a video or whatever, I have, oh. I have awesome. used so banana, little banana, HDR. Banana. Like outside of maybe movies, I guess. I, I In terms of games, though, I have used HDR so little. Flattened. Uh, it's like trapped under him. Well, not this year, but last year, 2022. Because, uh, let's see, I played... <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I have played through a game 
in HDR since getting the C1. Because I played both... Let me check my backloggery. Because I played both Guardians of the Galaxy and um, Horizon pretty early in the year. Which was before... Uh, let's see. Guardians of the Galaxy I beat at the end of January. And then Horizon Zero Dawn I beat in February. So... Those were the only games that I really played in HDR this year, believe it or not. Like, the other games that I played either didn't support HDR or they had bad HDR implementations. So I just didn't bother. Like, Dio Field had, I guess, okay-ish HDR, but I, I just opted to play it in SDR because it just didn't seem like HDR fit that game. Um, and then the Quarry... The uh, the games from super massive games always have like awful <laughs> HDR, like unbelievably bad HDR. Like the picture is just so dark, which fits because you know the anthology series they do is the dark pictures. <laughs> the uh, dark. So it pictures. makes it makes sense, right? It makes sense, but it, but the SDR looks so much better in their games. Like the HDR is just like unusably dark. Um, but yeah, so I didn't use HDR that, and it wouldn't have been, I mean, since we streamed that, like it wouldn't have been as good of an experience for the audience to use like the tone mapping anyway. So yeah, this was, this, this was not this like a big, like, like, like straight up co-op one. This was it. not a big, like, Current like gen the year dino. for me. I like the dino. Pixels and new. And especially after getting the C1, like I've, like movies have probably been my best utilization of HDR. Mm -hmm. And obviously not every movie is in HDR. <clears throat> Christmas Groot. But, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, I've almost entirely been playing in. SDR and the C1, and in my viewing environment, to my eyes, I'm I'm quite satisfied with the the brightness. Um, but it, it there there was maybe a little bit of an adjustment period though, where it was very similar to like the 70% brightness, 100% SDR brightness on C1 felt similar to like 70 ish. I wonder if on I the C7, think. which is what I used anyway, and I was happy with that. But I did feel that it, it was it maybe it just a hair less <clears throat> bright, but yeah. not much, not much. So I'm I'm totally used to it now. I think it's fine. I'm I'm happy. I I, I guess I wish that some oh, things could like, be oh, brighter for my frame insertion. But, you know, I, I use black frame insertion on a case-by-case -case basis, mostly with more retro or retro-styled things. <laughs> I'm afraid. Woohoo! Yeah, Stefan's oh. <laughs> right. Problem with HDR is bad HDR implementation. I mean, and some, sometimes it is. <clears throat> sometimes it is. We wait. We're supposed to pull one. No, the, but the the reason yeah, I, I had kind of had on my mind which a, which games I played in HDR this year was because I had recorded them. I, what I decided to do, like I decided to just record them untone mapped, and then tone map them in editing. And I figured it would be oh. really oh. easy, oh. and okay. like yeah. I could just like make a profile, a tone mapping profile it, for definitely. the game. And like apply that to all shots, and that turned out to not be the case. So the parts of the video on Guardians of the Galaxy and Horizon Zero Dawn were kind of a pain. Oh, I did start Kena Bridge of Spirits at one point this year, and for whatever reason, like I just like yeah, this it was okay, start. but like I just like oh, wait, so... I just wasn't really feeling it, and I'll I'll need to restart it sometime. I think I would like it. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it at the time, though. And I, I was playing that in oh. HDR because I did have some clips oh. of it recorded. Okay, you know what? Doesn't matter. 
You hold hold on. I I have no memory of this creature you're messing around with. No, oh, actually, maybe I do. Oh, hang on. I don't know if it was this level, but there was a creature like that in some level. Actually, I think it was like in the fourth world or something. There was something like that where there's this like dispenser for a creature and like it stopped working and we had to like restart the level. <laughs> so it's a little buggy. At times. This game is a little bit buggy. Because it was like, I would say at least six months after it came out when... Well, it was after the black and red DualSense controllers came out, which were like the first new colors. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I I like I, I needed two extra controllers to play this in three-player, but I wasn't willing to buy like... I wasn't it's willing to spend color. $70 on the it's same the color. Ready throw me at the button. Let's see. There it is. Uh, throw me at the other button. Yeah, throw you at the button. Toss me. It's gonna happen. Yeah, right I want to figure out a different way to capture HDR games this year. And and OBS has some capabilities now, I believe, but I haven't tested them. So I, and I don't know exactly if it would work with the Magewell card or if I would really need to kind of use the. Yeah, grab under the. I, I want to use the major card in that computer card. because it. Oh yeah. I, I like it in every way better, except when it yeah. comes to like PS5 stuff can kind of be a pain on it sometimes. In a way, the Xbox stuff tends to not be. Uh, <laughs> but I I don't know. I'll have to mess around with it and see if I can toss me. Uh, Sefi, that the feast fit for a beast was was little big plant three. Did you play play that? Yeah, Drum Lynn and I played it in co-op. Huh. Did you never play three? No, I never bought it. I it had a pretty good campaign. That was the one that had like the different like animals. Like there was like there was like there's like a there's like a dog thing, a bird thing, and oh, I think can you something stand in this? I bet I can. You stand like in different this? things That's that you I'm can standing. play as other than Sackboy. It was it was pretty good. We we had a good time with it. But there, there's like this no, no, no. There, there's there's this like one character in it who uh is is going to feed you to like her pet or something like this. And she goes, <laughs> "Well, look at you all. You're a face fit for a beast." <laughs> We just love the way that there she said go. that. We we've we we've quoted it many times. You're a face fit for a beast. <laughs> there we go. All right. Is, that, is this the end? I'm gonna say like one more level. If this is the end, right, but if it if it continues to go on. I know it's not going super late today, but it is. You know, but Here, it is. get on this one. But, um, what was that? I saw someone ask somewhere. Oh, yeah, Mr. Mr. Dew asked, how much money would someone have to give you for you to play games on your TV with factory default settings for an entire year? Oh, I think I have to get off. Yeah. Um. Again. Uh, that I mean that'd be that'd be pretty rough, oh, I but see. um, it can make you I mean it's fun. just one year. You have to do all of them. Maybe. It's just one year. So I I see how we do it. So I'm gonna throw you up. Um, you grab it. And I could probably cheat and okay. play so retro games on, on a CRT instead. So I have to hit the um, button. Oh we'll no! Uh, hmm. Maybe a hundred thousand dollars? That'd be nice. Oh! No. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> you can come up here and Corey, would you would you play with factory default settings on your TV for one year for a hundred thousand dollars? 
Well, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't even think about <laughs> oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> come back. You gotta come back. How 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 low could you go? Uh, I would do that for five thousand. Fifteen dollars. <laughs> you do that for five thousand dollars? Factory default for a year? For five thousand dollars? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's just one year, and it's just it's it's not like it's gonna be like unplayable. I mean, you you could pick games that wouldn't look as bad for it. Or games where like input lag wasn't as sensitive. Yeah. I mean, I feel like on the, I mean, with the, I mean, <laughs> just I, I, don't, a good stake. I didn't spend a lot of time on factory default settings on the LGC one, but it, it probably wouldn't be that bad. But I mean, I, I feel like, I mean, $5,000, I mean, sure. That's nice. You know, I, I could, I could build a real darn good computer for that. Um, which, which I would like, um, but, um, no, I think... uh, I, I feel like, I feel like I, I would, I feel like I would try to oh, negotiate a much better rate than $5,000, you know, you're going to pull it and I'm going to. We did that. What now? Oh, we forgot. There's some, some sort of. There's a watermelon. Yeah. Yeah, I I wouldn't even. Like uh, that would be totally fine with me. Oh, you see, little May Rose, you say one year, but after a couple weeks, Trevor's going to mess with you. But if you watched the video that uh, that I recently did yeah, on the. Like uh, the M Classic and the 4K Gamer Pro, neither of which I personally would recommend. Um, I discovered in the process of that that the LG C1 actually has like good sharpening. Like it doesn't make obvious halos and in lower resolution games, it can actually clean up the aliasing in like a surprisingly good way. Uh, and I have not, I've been meaning to, I just haven't had time because of, uh, you know, ever since finishing that video, I've been working, you know, day and night on getting the oh, games we played yeah. in 2022 yeah. done. So, uh, I, uh, Why don't you try? Yeah. yeah, I haven't gone back to really mess with it, but I, I kind of want to see if like one of the. Like, like I did some light experimenting. <laughs> it seems like on the C1, and I believe it, it well, might be this way from like yeah. C9 onwards, from what I'm told. But yeah, someone should stay on that yeah. that box. We're figuring it out. At least you've got you've got an infinite supply of lives at this checkpoint, at least. Um. But supposedly, since the C9, the uh, the the shopping has been been kind of good. Uh, Heck yeah. And even John Lineman said he uses like 20 to 30 on the CX. So um, I I was surprised when I saw this. There's there's a comp comparison using Luigi's Mansion. And you can like clearly see that like around his like mustache and around his legs. Like it it almost it almost looks like it's it's like trying to do like a reconstruction to, to 4k like it's kind of crazy but like you say this maybe this chart is still gonna mess with me i mean it might it might like like i said i have not like actually gone back to seriously try it and i'm still like there's still a part of me that's like no it's wrong don't i can't i can't do that i can't do that you know, whatever. but I, I want to experiment with it but I don't know if I'll be able to commit because I'm I'm pretty hardcore about that that neutral sharpness. Oh, yeah, we'll see because it's it's shockingly yeah, good looking. But like, yeah, maybe oh, yeah. maybe I'll start to see things that I'm like, well, that's not predicament. Right. Let's just do this one. Sure. All right, this is the last level. Then we're calling it a night. Okay. Where am I gonna be this time? Yeah. I'll be the Happy New Year. Who is that? I mean, is that? 
what's his name from Walking Dead? No, that's uh, that's uh, Ellie, I think. Uh oh, Last of Us Part Two. Oh, you're being crank. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Crank? Yeah, I'm going to call... I like calling Clank Crank. Oh, okay. Ratchet, Ratchet and Crank. Chubbins. Ratchet, yeah, I, Ratchet I, I, and Chubbins. Ratchet and Chubbins. Oh, oh, I mean, ooh, the, His right. Japanese name is probably Kranku or something <laughs> like that. Crank. Wait, is, are you carrying a bomb or is that your head? That's my head. Why is your head a bomb? <laughs> it's a fire. It's a little alarming. Yeah. You're going to explode. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, this level. This level's interesting. Oh, let me go fight this thing. Snack. I got the boomerang. You should have one too. Oh. Do you have one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well. Okay, boomer. Boomer. Bang. Boomerang quanger. Yes, yeah, so Halo artifacts boomer, are a big boomer no. Boomer quanger. Boomer quanger. And in, in, in some lightweight, the lightweight weight testing I've done on the C1, it, I didn't see halos but we'll see I, I need to experiment with it more someone asked if you would do a video on uh like different terms and like problematic things like uh like the haloing on sharpening and like i could see that being kind of a useful little video yeah i i i've 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 kind of thought about things like that before like a resource for like here's like what this is mm-hmm I mean that might be cool. Like I, I actually, I actually bought. Like I, I haven't even gotten around to doing it, but I like I actually bought this like little notebook that like I was going to write down terms that I either didn't understand or wanted to understand better. Like when I was watching like Digital Foundry videos. Yeah. And like I, with the with the thought that like maybe this could be a video of some kind. Yeah, but, uh, yep. I, but I've not actually actually done it. <laughs> I, I think oh, that man. sneeze just got you killed. Get you it did, because I was going to sneeze. And I'm like, I gotta hurry back so I can sneeze. Oh, I can't stop. Steffi got an analog pocket. Stop, nice. Stop. Nice. Uh, Hotego released his CPS1 on the analog pocket oh really do, 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 do they do all those games just universally work now well you have to have the cores and if you run that updater it'll download the uh the roms right, right. but like i mean I, I don't know if there like needs to be differences in how cps1 games different ones as are as long as you have like the, the compiled, compiled, like ROMs you all, you all cps1 games work now or are some still not working no all, like the entire all CPS1. the entire library nice Yeah, it's it's pretty impressive. That's cool. I was playing Final Fight on that. And it's just like very cool that I can play an arcade perfect Final Fight on a little handheld. You know what I mean? Like it's just it's pretty it's pretty mind blowing. Really. have you shown Chris the analog pocket? No, no, he hasn't really seen you, you, you should you should show it to him. It, it would probably surprise him. Yeah, I, I will when after the stream I'll show it to him. I think it'll be gonna be kind of amazed. It's neat. Neat. It is neat. It's swell. It's it, it's Ooh, like oh, gotta get eight. that corn. You gotta get that corn down there. I saw what the I saw a corn hat. Look, we need that. Oh, is that corn? Oh, it, look, it looks like it almost looks like corn. Maybe not. Maybe just the face portion was corn. It, it totally out. looked like corn. Yeah. Maybe it's a corn shirt. It's a corn shirt? Yeah. Oh, it's got the juice. I love I love corn. I feel like corn is the only vegetable I can get my son to eat right lately. <laughs> Really? But yeah, I mean, Analog Pocket is like is like a slightly large-ish Game Boy screen, but 
it's 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 like a it's a fourteen forty p screen. Yeah, like the pixel density is so ridiculously high on it that you can do like do do they do they have like good uh, CRT? Do they have like Mister Style CRT effects in the Open FPGA cores? No, not yet. They don't have any um, like I mean a lot of that stuff is being added like over time. Yeah, I'm uh, sure they finally got got customizable controls for Open FPGA. Oh, really? They didn't have that at all, huh? Yeah. Can, can they not do it on a per core basis? Well, they can now. Ah. But they couldn't at first. You should update yours. All you need to do is download that updater script that I sent you. I know, I know, and I've got this, I've got this micro SD card. card I was telling you about, like, oh, I think I was going to put that in something else, but I don't even remember what it was, so I'll put it in the analog pocket. I, I, I know, I need to do it. Although you you did go and get a Ever, Evercade Versus. I or did. Yes, I mean, sorry. Yeah, I did. Oh, I, I want to say Versus, but it's, it makes no sense. I did, because, you know, it's... It's an interesting way to own a physical copy of a lot of arcade games, I think. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I think there's a high likelihood that a lot of them, if they're okay. available on the Mister, <laughs> I would play it on the Mister instead because it's, let's let's be honest, it's probably a better experience. Yeah. But like I I I, I still feel like I'll feel more motivated to play a lot of those games just having them in that fashion, you know? Yeah. So I, I, I really like the idea of owning them that way. And you know what? Like a lot of them, I think I would play on the, on the, on on, on the Evercade anyway. Like I I tried out like Avenging Spirit on it yesterday. Uh-huh. And there's definitely some like scrolling judder in it, which is I I don't know what the refresh rate of the original game is, but like that's I guess not super surprising yeah. with like it's frowning it's like ar- arcade games, right? Um, but. You know, uh, I you know I I I think I'll I think I'll I'll, I'll enjoy playing on it as well as just kind of collecting for because the thing that really surprised me when I started looking into it is like oh the carts are only twenty dollars like that's I didn't realize that that's yeah funny. they're like I feel like they're they're like a like that's a kind of a crazy good deal. Can we hit these buttons? I, what buttons? I mean, there. physical video games have like never been that cheap. Is just like their default price. Like Game Boy games were like thirty dollars back in the day. You know, like yeah. there might have been some twenty dollar Game Boy games. Maybe the Player's Choice ones. I don't want to trigger another. But like the normal Game Boy game price was thirty dollars back in the day. Well, I'm going to go battle this cold. <laughs> it's what I'm apparently coming down with. Um, I think that's going to do it. I know we're not going, going super late tonight, but we're, I'm sure we'll have a late night possibly tomorrow. Yeah, we will. So, um, Happy New Year, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you for, thank you for having me. Yeah, it was great having you on. Finally. Yeah, I know. Finally. No. All, I had to, Chris, all I had to do was fly here. Yeah. <laughs> and so, I mean, Chris is in the chat a lot. He, uh, he, he, he watches. I mean, at least. It's, it's, the, only way, it's, it's the only way sometimes uh, you'll answer texts is I have to super chat you. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like not consistent with that. I, I do my best. I try to do you know, your like, best. You, you, you will send you message will... to me on Discord like while we're like in the stream. I know. Like I can't. Like sometimes it's hard for me to. No, that's yeah. I, I, it's some, I, 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 I never pay attention day, to Discord so. during streams. <laughs> normal texting during the day. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> but speaking of which, uh, thank you to everybody who donated tonight, and I hope. Uh, I don't know. Like if anybody has like been off of work and has to go back tomorrow, I hope it it goes well, and uh, we'll see you next week. Go Bills. Go, go Bills. <laughs> Take care, everybody.
Good night. night.